What's up, guys? Can you hear me? Can you hear us okay? How do we sound? Scuff stream, because we're in Ludwig's house. What and the why, heck, bro? Why are you trying to, why are you, why are you trying to be? I'm like, so much taller than you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But look, American Chad towers over Japanese weeb. <laughs> You're wearing like puffed up slippers. Take them Bob off. Bob Ganoush. Take them off. All right, fine. I'll take off my slippers. <laughs> You have like the thickest slippers. These yeah, so they're a little bit, they're tempered pedic okay? You made Give me, me look back. Small. You made me look tiny in the interview with him. Thank you. you. I swear you were like, Appreciate that. Hi Connor, what was up? How you doing? Well, okay, it's because before you came on, I had um, uh, Young Gravy, who's 6'4". Oh, he's, like, he's, he's like 9'3". Then we had Rambu, who's like 6'3". So the whole time I'm sitting there, six foot, feeling like an idiot. Should we punch in? Let's punch in a bit. We can punch in. We can punch in. Let's punch in Zoom. slightly. I'm thinking Zoom. like, oh, Zoom. Zoom. yeah, I like it. I like it. Let's do it. That was good. What do you think, chat? You like being manhandled like that? Yeah, I'm handling you. You guys are my little, my little toys. Congrats on the W. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. that. Appreciate that because I also got W. We've also got W's. We all, we, dude, our table was our table was stacked. Yeah. yeah, we had Jerma, we had Hassan, Mouse, me. It was it was a W table. That's five awards, five people. I think so, right? Yeah. Yo, right. five bars, five <laughs> different beats right now. Hit me. Wait, what does that mean? It's just like a it's just like a morning radio show where oh. they do like the five fingers of death, where you do different style rap beats oh. and then you freestyle on them. Uh, you think it's American culture. Is? It's so, American culture. You you want to know what we're doing today, chat? It's very simple. Um, I like beer. Ludwig likes beer. We're going to try all of the American beer. Some of these are not American. <laughs> we're going to try most of the iconic American beer. We're getting drunk, baby! And we'll give our thoughts on them and I'll rate them and you'll rate them and tell me which ones you like. I am concerned about some of these. Um, like, what is, what is this one? Oh. This looks disgusting. For loco. Why is it called Warheads? Because it's flavored after a, a, an American staple, Warheads candy, which uses citric acid to make children go <laughs> But it's it's delicious because this is 14% alcohol. Okay. All right. It also has caffeine in it. Uh, how much caffeine what? does a Four loco have? Wait, why would it why would it have caffeine? So you can go all night, baby, because we're in America Jindes, we partay. Did they remove the caffeine from Four Locos? They had a lawsuit for a while. You, that's, it's, it's an upper and a downer, right? Yeah. Beers are depressing. No, for like, sure. A couple of these used to kill men. I, I, I think they did. Caffeine in beer? That's fine. Oh, uh, they did remove it. They did? It used to have like, it was like 200 mg caffeine, which is equivalent to like, like two Red Bulls, three Red Bulls. And then it'd be like literally the equivalent of three beers. Um, so it was tight. Yeah, these are also, I will note, these are massive cans of beer. Like, why are they so big? No, this is for an American. This is like a regular single portion. <laughs> this is big. Well, these are, so these are liquor store beers. And liquor store beers are different from like okay. grocery store six packs. Okay, why? A six pack is like, it's like either something you get to share, you bring it to a party, right, or maybe right. like you're chewing through and you're like, oh, I'll have like two or three in a six pack in a night. Yeah. This is like, hey, I'm going to a liquor store. I'm getting this in a brown bag. And I'm fucking drinking this because fuck what is going on in my life right now. Yeah. All right. Liquor uh, store beer is different. I mean, also, why it has a serving size on the back. Let me show you the chat. 24 what, ounces. What's the point of having a serving size? I don't really understand that. Do I have to manually focus? It no, you, you, I just have to make sure I'm not in it. Okay. Look, look at that. What a serving size as if somebody's like opening the can and not, and they're like, oh no, sorry. Sorry, it's a, I gotta stop. I've had I've had one serving. Of serving sizes are a bit of a meme in the states, but I think it's <laughs> FDA law or Fair rules enough. that you have to have a serving size. Uh, I've had some of these before, obviously. Um, so okay, Connor, yeah. I've brought to you here all the best American beers, the staples that okay. make America, and this includes all of America. So we're talking Mexico as well, because Mexico has some of our best beers. Half of these are not. These these are these are wait, what do you mean? Aren't some of these not American? Well, they're I all American or Mac. <laughs> well, can we sneak in a Belgian? This is this is this is um, Netherlands, and this is Japan, as you know. And then there's also, I think that's actually these are mostly. That's it. That's it. Because I Corona is a Mexican beer. Yeah. I feel like it's such an American thing. Mexican beer, especially in LA, is like. Yeah. Like that's what most people drink. Yeah, I, and I think it'll be probably one of your more favorites is some of the Mexican beers. I think you might really like 
like uh, Pacifico? I, I, yeah, I, I try, I've tried this. Oh, well, we'll get into it. But I, I actually really like Heineken. Normally, I've, that's like one of my favorite. Okay, well, that's good because uh, it's actually just for me. What? Yeah, so it's not an American Wait, beer. Wait, do we have a glass? Is... Okay, you're just going in. All right, well. No, this is just mine. Oh, my God. This All is right. my, it's my palate cleanser. Do you? Do it's an American any, beer tier list. Do you have any, sh like, small glasses? Do I have small glasses? Yeah. Um, There's everything large. Yeah, there. one right here. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> you even framed it so Jack could see. Oh, fuck. That uh, yeah, we can take these little bon mama cups, maybe. This sure. would be like a nice. Yeah, that's classy. These are reused jam. I'm gonna get a glass for water too, so I can clean oh, my- Oh, clever. Cleanse my palate. Clever. Um, we'll get a, we'll get the big one. Oh, fuck. Bum, ba, na, ba. Chat, what is your favorite beer? And the winner of the poll was depression beer. Hello. Hello. Hello, Q. Is Chad okay? Yeah, they're not. Depression beer by 400. What is, what is depression I, beer? I've never heard of that. I, my mods must have put that in. They're sad. They what are. if we drink 15 ounces of every beer? That's death. Like, we die. We throw up for sure. How? Okay, what's the rule then? How much beer are we supposed to drink from I each I feel like beer? one sip of each. That's still going to be a lot of beer. But, like, why don't you change out of your pajamas for this? <laughs> they can't see <laughs> Wait, why is your... Why have you rolled it up? Because <laughs> the pants hang really low. Are you wearing underwear? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> you have to check. I'm not kidding, Connor. It's okay. They've seen his balls before. <laughs> <laughs> We've all seen it, all right? Everyone's seen We've all seen them. I went to the onsen. You know. Yeah, you guys went to onsen together, huh? We did, yeah. He you was... got all nude together. Yeah. <laughs> I was too proud of the onsen. Because I was so nervous. Weird. No, I wasn't weird. It was normal. Tell, tell her I was normal. Were you just like... Walking around like yeah, that. He, yeah, guy? he did that. He did Ew, that. Lovely. I wasn't walking around like I, this. I, I think I think because he was trying to not be weird. And so he didn't want to be shy. I didn't want to be like And so he just went around like this everywhere. No, I didn't walk right. I walked I walked like this. So, he made eye contact with every kid as well. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a good thing. It was eye contact. Alright? I kept it above the eyes. So weird. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I did no you dirty. I did you. We did you dirty on the pod. <laughs> you did. Did you go to something like that? Do you like judge each other's landscaping? No. I don't. I think it's like a zero judgment zone. That's the whole idea. Like if you start yeah. to, to judge honest, at all, you like you should manscape a little. It's more like it's more. No, before of a, I went, I shaved. You did. <laughs> no. You don't judge, but you know, maybe if your friend is killing it, you're like, God damn, you know. You I, would, won't, I won't name names, but we know. We did no, not, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he says we know like dude, it was someone else. Dude, I was saying, whew. Some, some, some people in the yard got it, some people don't. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's just focus on the beer. Just Ludwig and Aiden that went to the onsen, so I guess we know. <laughs> um, tequila, 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 when I was trying to be a cool Here girl, because <laughs> I was Mormon, I used to be Mormon. Okay. I used to be Mormon. I tried to be a cool girl and have my first beer. Mm -hmm. the beer tastes really gross. It, uh, and 100%. So, so me trying to be cool because I like see people mix, mix whiskey and coke. So I'm with this, this like really hot guy. He's like all tattooed. He's like my the devil on my shoulder. Right. He was actually grooming me. I was 18. Oh, was, oh, 20. oh, god. Not okay. me. What the hell? Not me. But he was like, "Do you want a beer?" And it was a Heineken. And I was like, "Yeah. Can you mix it with some coke?" <laughs> <laughs> That's Did you tight. Drink that? Yeah, and I had I pretended like I liked it. He's like, I've never seen anyone do this. I'm like, so gross. But yeah, that's what I think of it. Behind it. That's the most disgusting I thing know. I've ever heard. Honestly, that's probably like an LA highball. <laughs> uh, I mean, that probably put you off beer, right? Coca-Cola. Yeah, oh, no, I know. I know oh, what you're saying. Okay, I got nervous. <laughs> I, I, I know you weren't talking about cocaine. Coca -Cola. I'm just saying well, an LA highball is probably beer and coke. Right before mm. the show, the makeup artist comes running in the room. I'm like, cutie, do you need anything? Are you okay? And I was like, I'm good. I just had my coke. Talking about my drink. And she's like, oh, okay. And I was like, and she left the room. And I was like, what? And I was like, oh my God. I like how quickly probably, she was down for it's it. It's probably yeah. no, not the oh most unique. Bro, you got to get this it centered. Talks. It's just going to, when you turn, Wait, it's just going to sound worse. Oh, okay. All okay. right, we're leaving. Goodbye. Bye. All right, bye-bye. Bye. See you later. All right. I guess we'll start with Heineken then, because it's a good. Um, All right, let's move good, this out of the way. Yeah. Let's get the beers out of the way here. 
I'm going easy with it. I'm not going crazy. I'm just going to pour a tiny bit because we got a lot to drink. All right. I, sh I put a little bit more for you. <gasps> That's, this is going to be gross. <sighs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to expand my stomach. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> There's no way that isn't it your <sighs> throat? No, it gets there. Ugh. All right. Okay. Cheers to our health. Well, Heineken. Heineken's good. Heineken's great. Yeah, Heineken's good. What are you? Okay. Well, mm. I like Heineken. It's very fine. It's it 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 never tastes bad. Is yeah, that what I, you I'm saying? It never tastes it. bad. I've never had a Heineken that made me think like, damn, I hate beer. I don't think Heineken's bad. I think Heineken gets the job done. I think it's out of all of like the beers you can get in a can or a bottle, it's it's pretty good. Uh, I think Heineken for me is like a, a high B, low A. So here's what we got. I have 18 beers for you. 16 of these are North American beers. Two of them are, you know, a little okay, outside okay, the box. Okay. I think the way we're going to rate it is by generally having a line form. So it doesn't okay, matter okay, where right, we right, put right, the Heineken right, right, right. now. Okay, it's just that. We it's put it that. here. Got it. And then the next beer we drink, we say to ourselves, is that better or worse than the Heineken? Okay, we'll do it. Okay, you're smart. You're and smart. better this way, worse towards me. Because I'm the yeah. devil and you're the angle. <laughs> Make sense? Chant, Chant thinks the Heineken is a C or a D. All the Dutch hate Heineken. Well, it's because you guys have better beer, right? But I'm saying if we, like, if we could get into, we could have gotten like a million fancy craft beers, IPAs, all that stuff. They're always better. But I mean, let's, let's stick to the ones Boys. That, you can just get. I think the goal mm -hmm. of these 18 beers is like the most popular beers. Yeah, like we are okay. doing a tier list of okay. a beer that you would find everywhere in America. Okay. And that includes two foreign ones more so just for fun. But it's a beer that you can find anywhere in America yeah. and they're staples. Okay. So like they're not going to be your IPAs. They're All not right. going to be your stouts. Right? They're not even going to be a you know pale ale. It's all going to be like fucking basically oh, water with a little bit of I, piss in it. I have, we have a, a bit of a fun connection to Budweiser. Have, okay. you, have you seen this meme that we did? No. We did a blind beer tasting stream. We right. rated the beers and we guessed which country they were from. Okay. And I was crushing it. I was like naming every country. I got every rating. And then we all got to Budweiser and I was like, this is great. It's such a rich flavor. It's, uh, and we all gave it like eight out of 10. And then it was Budweiser and I was like, I just lost every inch of credibility I had. Oh, that is um, sad. I was crushing it. I got every beer. Oh, I you taste love Budweiser then. Uh, well, I, well, let's not judge it by the label. This is, okay. of course, a staple of America, and it's for a good reason, perhaps. It, it's made in Mexico, right? Anheuser-Busch? No. Uh, and it's no, American no. beer, but isn't it produced in Mexico? Like they... There's many locations. Oh, I think okay. the largest location is in St. Louis, America, where they okay. produce Budweiser and Bud Light, but they also have a factory in, uh, I think, New Hampshire. Oh, okay. St. Louis. All right. Thank you, chat. Yeah, I knew right. that. Oh, this smells. It's just, I mean, you can drink it. I think it's great. It's just fine. It's like the most fine, like it, it, it's not offensive. It's as inoffensive as it gets. Because it's water. It's like the Jimmy Fallon of beers. <laughs> Anyone could enjoy it, but you, it's not going to be your favorite. Does, do you enjoy Jimmy Fallon? I'm saying like you could stomach a Jimmy Fallon bit. Like he's he's created so that anyone could enjoy because he's so PC. He's yeah. so he's so inoffensive. I don't think I've ever laughed at Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, but he's inoffensive. He would yeah, never. Okay, you would never right. like watch him and be like, oh, God, that rubbed Can, me the wrong. Way. I gave it an eight out of ten last time I drank it blind, but I. I I, okay, I know why. Because you drink it and you're like, I could easily go for another sip. Yeah. This is how alcoholism starts. The aftertaste <laughs> is like... There's, nothing. There's, there's nothing. no bad aftertaste. Yeah. I think if I drank like five Heinekens, mm. by the fourth or the fifth one, I'd start feeling like pretty gross. Yeah. But I think because it's so watery. But I guess that's, that's why they want you to buy it, right? Because you can just buy a 24 pack and drink too many of them. I, I think it's worse than the Heineken. He did the blackface thing. Okay. Well, that was, that, you yeah, know... That was not good. That was not good. And, and, you know, to be fair, Budweiser had a bad year in the 90s. So, <laughs> so I get still... still Still Fallon esque, but yeah, good point. Good point on that one. <laughs> I think it's worse than Heineken, but only a little bit. I, uh, yeah, I'll agree. I'll agree. I, I think Heineken's got more flavor going on. And I think, look, I, honestly, there's no way, unless we did this all blind, yeah, we can to tell. disassociate I, 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 I branding no. with the actual flavor. So we'll try our best, but I think realistically, I think this yeah. is a fair placement. We'll yeah. put it right next. Do you agree, chat? Connor is a capper. 
Chat, drink alcohol alongside with us today. No, Everybody like, get drunk. No, it is Sunday fun day. Europeans, we're just hitting midnight, baby. It's time to chug, it's, chug, it, it, chug. It, it, no, it's All not right. hitting midnight. It's hit. Oh, wait, no, yeah, they're ahead of us. I'm so used to being having them behind. Yeah, I think it's like 10 or yeah, 11. Yeah, it's like puff. Actually, you know what? Actually, yeah, fellow Dutch people, get your Heineken's out. It's uh, not like you got work tomorrow. Come on. And even if you do, what's that movie called? Um, the, with the, the, you, Mads Mikkelsen. Every time I come here, you always mention this this show at least once. Because it but, shows that drinking alcohol is good for you. Well, <laughs> Muslims in chat crying right now. <laughs> yeah, true. All right, what's the next beer? Then? All right, I got. I want to take you. So I want to kind of like, like take you around the tour of the world right now. Okay. So we went to Europe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we went to this European American fusion okay. of right. a Budweiser. Okay. Now I want to take you a little bit further south to Mexico. <laughs> Specifically, Which with one? one of my favorite Mexican beers. Is it this one? Ah, uh, Pacifico. I had this first time in my life last night. Really? And I thought it was pretty good. In, in the bottle, though. I do think that beer tastes infinitely better in a bottle. Let's not You're kid. right. I think but you're right. We went to the liquor store with 20 minutes, so we, we have it. Let's hear it. I mean, it's a, it's a can. No, I was putting up to the mic. Oh, 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 okay. I thought you were like, am I amazed that you opened a can? No. <laughs> There's something so depressing about having a can this big. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It makes I mean, me feel it, it, like I'm at the it, end of the road. It gives alcoholism. <laughs> well, we, <laughs> we, there's a funny story. We were, oh we, were in the, <laughs> we were in the liquor store and me and Ludwig were talking. And then... Um, we're in LA. A crackhead walks in. Okay. All right? I, I didn't want to say it. Well, I'll I, say I, it. I, okay, I'll right, say it. Okay. It's 100%. You, it, we're in LA. All right. There are a lot of crackheads. And that's okay. I don't fault someone for being addicted to crack. <laughs> I think that's like a thing that happens to them. And so like we're being cordial. And they're like... They're like we're, she, she, so we're just chilling. Yeah, we're, we're talking. talking. And then she, she's like... What language are you guys speaking? <laughs> and we're like... Uh, English. English. I'm from America. But I realized that she probably heard Connor's accent yeah, and didn't yeah. understand him. So I was like, oh, but he's British. Yeah. And she's like, oh, I'm Irish in like, uh, like classic American fashion. Yeah. I'm Irish, Polish, Russian, 10% Italian, I, 4% I, I, French, I like, Spanish, cool, Welsh. Cool, cool. And we're like, dope, love that for you. <laughs> and then we move on with our business and we're like checking out, checking out, about to leave. And then she turns to Connor, she goes, can you say have a good day in British? And then what do you say? I said, oh, have a good day. And then she's like, no, no, no in British. And I was like, oh, oh, she wants to be like Harry Potter. So I'm like. So Connor, Connor, with Riz, right? So he first he just goes, have a good day. Like, and, then, and, then, and then she's like, no, I'm British. And so with Riz, he goes, have a good day. <laughs> that is not. You'd say it was no. so much Riz. Well, I was trying to say it like Harry Potter. I was like, have a good day. No, I don't fucking know. No, How'd you do it? I don't know now. Now, no, now you're throwing it, me off. Now it, I'm it, thinking it, about it. how you did it. And say I can't, it with Riz. I just went like, say have a good day. Have a good day. Like that. I, did, I, I don't know. Like, I was you like, said it like a Tesco's clerk. But she was unamused by that. Yeah, no, she, 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 she was like, she was. She, she thought she, I was copping out. She, she wanted you to like speak a different language. I was like, I, I think I, she thought British was a different language. And yeah. she was like, can you please speak British? You keep speaking English. <laughs> You're speaking American? I, was, I didn't get it. I was like, what do you want from me? I want me? you to speak in your weird tongue. And, and so we just left. I was like, you know what? I, I, we let's left. leave. Let's we get left. out of here. Anyway, let's drink the Pacifico. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I mean, what is that flavor it has? It's like kind of like weirdly sweet a little bit. You know what I mean? Cerveza. What, okay, what is that? Cerveza. It's like a Spanish person, like a Barcelonian saying beer in Spanish. Oh, you're more well-educated than me. Dos cerveza, por favor. I like that one a lot, actually. I fuck with Pacifico. I think that's really nice. I would put Pacifico above Heineken. I don't know if you agree. Yeah, I think it's smoother. I think I like, I don't know what that, that aftertaste People it has. People are saying is. it's corn. It's corn? I can believe that. I don't know. They're just saying that. It tastes good, chat. I don't know what it is, but it tastes good. It's, I think, um, wait, can I, I don't want to be, that sounds so bad. Can oh, you pour me no a way. Bit? Just a tiny bit. It's good. All right. Let me, I don't know what that is. It's kind of sweet. Am I crazy? You, you, you dumb, you going back in? You know oh, I mean? yeah. Like oh, it's sweet. wow. Like this, this is beer. Bro. It's like I went from dessert back to appetizers. <laughs> wow. Well, because I think a traditional, a traditional beer in the, in the, you know, the, if you were to go to Germany, you got a beer. There's no sweetness. There's no kind of like. Well, I mean, let 
this is like a normal beta taste. It's kind of like you feel that you're kind of sad, but in a good way because you have beer. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. German people <laughs> are not funny. I, yeah, it's true. I mean, it's true. They know that though. Some German people are funny. I like German so, people. Because German people are so normally not funny that then oh, yeah, they're comes around. very funny when they you are You know funny. what? Who is the most German American I've ever met? Who? Box Box. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. He's, like he's hilarious, but like I, he has never, I feel like tried to make a joke. No, he he's, just he's very funny. I was in a conversation with him once at uh, Abe and Wendy's wedding. We're talking, he's like, oh, you play Valorant, right? And I was like, yeah, yeah. Like uh, I've been playing a lot of solo keys. Like we should play sometime. And I was like, yeah, we, like we chatted a bit more. And then like the conversation naturally died out. And he's like, I have nothing left to say now. So I'm going to turn this way. <laughs> And I was just there and I was like, okay, <laughs> fair enough. I saw him yesterday and I was like, so he went up to, he's like, just TFT. <laughs> yeah. That's it. And I was like, me too. He's like, yep. And it probably will be the same next time I see you. And I was like, okay, all right, all right, Al. Yeah, Sorry, I, did, I did the Pokemon tournament with him that Wolf ran. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and he... Uh, that was sick. He, he, he nearly he, won, right? Oh, did he win? Yeah, he, he got second. Yeah, Second to Void, and that was his first time ever playing. He'd never played Pokemon. He was so good. He got so good so quick. He's very good. And then um, he, every time, like, in between his matches, instead of, like, hanging out and chatting, if you want to wipe in the inside, he would, uh, he would, he would go play... Um, like fire emblem on his switch i was like why are you doing that like shouldn't you be like warming up he's like oh if i get like stressed out in social situations i play video games i'm like damn like you just have it down i like how he just does himself he knows like, he doesn't yeah, he doesn't he knows care. him more than anyone knows himself yeah he just does it i love I, that. I, I, I appreciate that i lot. envy him all right what's next all right connor uh we're on our world tour we are on a Europe. world tour of beer america um, mexico i want you to take a yeah, little I sip knew, i knew you were gonna do this from nihongo Jose. <laughs> A little sip of good Japanese. A little sip of good Japanese beer. This is Sapporo, which comes from Sapporo in the Hokkaido prefecture. As we went to. So the most we northern prefecture of Japan. And in Sapporo, the only bar we went to had Asahi. That is true. <laughs> which, which is also a Hokkaido beer, but not the point. But we were in Sapporo. I've never seen these cans in Japan, so these must yeah, be like. This import. is a fucking. I want. I want to show this off. It's big. Because it, it looks like a, a weapon it's you would sexy. kill people oh. with and hit me. Let me get out. I'll get out so I can focus easier. I can use my body to block it. I'm okay. Fine. Look at this. It's like first of all, it's curvy. Like it's kind of a sexy bottle, right? It's it's a nice. It's bottle. built like a triangle. Like this is how you hope your 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 latissimus dorsi goes down to your abs. What does that mean? Like, what, what did you... Have you never heard of this? No. Like, the general body shape that you want as, like, a bodybuilder yeah. is you want, like, big lats so that when you go like this, your lats pop out, and then it goes down into, like, a... Like a oh, this your, is a triangle your worst thumbnail is you like that. No, well, that's my traps. There's, like, one, I can't remember which video this is, but it's horrible. I could beat streamers in a fight. No, that was it. I hated that thumb. Every Wait, time why? Turned, that video has a shit ton of views. Yeah, but every time it turned up, I just saw you doing this, and I could just imagine you, like... I want you to know. Changing the focus, going, no. No, that was that was one take. Fuck no. no it's not Photoshop, Bullshit, bro. that was one take. I have crazy take. traps. No. Dude, uh, Connor. No. I have crazy no, traps. No, 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 no. It's not fake. I, you're, I, like, I don't want to show off right now, but I could show you my traps and you would be flabbergasted. I was in the onset. I didn't, I, bro. the only thing I saw, I had, I had a squint. Like, it was, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, let's open. This feels like it's crack. gonna explode. Like, yeah, know, it does feel like so well. Oh my, oh, dude, this is like feel that alone, like that that little. No, why this is it feels like you're gonna cut yourself. Why is oh it, my fucking Why is God. it so strong? This is like, uh, again, I can't even like crack the aluminum <laughs> if I squeeze it as hard as I can. In Japan as well, um, when you get like a bag of crisps, um, chips, uh, why don't you, like you don't. You can know. just say crisps. Yeah, I can. Bro. So when you get a bag of crisps, right? Normally, when you get it, it's like this very thin kind of, I what material, it's like plasticky alum, aluminum, I yeah. was say aluminum, I've been here too long. Um, but in Japan, it's like super thick for no apparent reason. It's like, why, why are you over-engineering this bag of crisps? It's, it's like the thickest material for no reason. Shit, I guess. Cheers. I, so far, it's fine. Oh, I don't even know where to put support. I, I'll be real. It's like, it's better than Asahi for me, but there's so many other good Japanese beers that are so much better. Like Yebisu yeah. is the best one, I think. I mean, I honestly think it's worse than Budweiser. I think there's like a sourness to this beer. 
Do you think it's because it's an import version, or do you think it's because it's just how it is? Like it's just worse. I no, I think like a draft. Well, I think a draft of any of yeah, these would instantly be at the top. Except for Bud. I think draft Bud is, yeah, the, exact, it's probably draft the, exact is the exact same, yeah, yeah, same yeah. as everything. Um, but yeah, for the other ones, I think drafted versions are way better. But yeah, this imported version, at the very least, is like it's like a little bit sour. I don't particularly yeah. love it. I don't particularly <sighs> hate it. Dude, it pains me to say that it's... I think it might... I, I think Bud is... Because Bud is the line of like no taste. Like there's no taste at any point now. And I think this also has no taste. It is very little taste. It just has a sour note and no aftertaste. But most Japanese beers are designed to be very easy to drink, right? Because then then they like beer, but they don't really like European beer. They like very light lagers. Yeah. And so every single Japanese beer is extremely easy to drink because it's just, it's like nothing. I, I It's it's bad. It's the same as bad. I, I'm happy to put it worse if you, if you think, but it's the same in my mind. Actually, you know what? I am indifferent, and this is your tier list. Okay, I, I want you to make the call. I'm indifferent whether it's higher or lower than Budweiser. I'm gonna say let's put it, let's put it higher. I, I and I want to call you out right now. Why? This is a clout pick. Mm -hmm. You are clout moving Sapodo sure. because you are a Japanese no, no, content creator. It's because everyone in the comments is gonna be like, dude, it has I know. To be better. I so I, I know I, because I'm, you have a Japanese audience, they want Sapodo to be better. I don't. So ever. this is a clout I, pick. I do. No? I do not have a fake. Japanese audience. Fake. Well, you have a you have a um, Japan file uh, audience. Yeah, well, People yeah. infatuated with the culture of Japan. I I suppose Chris Broad. Chris Broad's the only guy really that watches you that loves Japan. Yeah, he's the only guy. This, he's the only one. I, um, so far, I kind of like, these are all fine. Yeah. I'm scared because I see some of these. Like, I've had oh. Bud Light before, and I think Bud Light is like a crime against beer. Yeah. Um, and it's made by the same company, right? Yeah, yeah, it's Anheuser-Busch. Anheuser-Busch is actually a lot of beers. They're, they're like the largest conglomerate. So I think a few of these are going to be Anheuser-Busch. Can I pick one? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Have a, have a pick. We, we took our tour, so everything now is going to be North American. What the fuck is this one? Ah, this is a Mexican beer, Dos Equis. Okay. You might remember their marketing campaign. I've never seen this before. I think I've, I think I've seen this Double X. Double X, and they had the marketing campaign. If you remember, it was the most um, like interesting man in the world. Oh, I think I have seen this. Yes. Yeah, I think it's I like the guy this. who looks like an older version of Clooney, and he was like, ah, I skydive with no parachute, and then I drink Dos Equis. <laughs> it's pretty good. Let's try it. Let's try it. Um, Chance saying they like it. Chat says they like this beer. It's a know. Pilsner lager with a refreshing and balanced taste started in Mexico in 1897. Sure, let's try it. So far, I think we're doing this pretty well. I think we're, we're being very responsible about how we're doing this. I'm, well, I'm impressed. We're, this is our quarter way mark. Oh my God, so, your, yeah, your pores are getting bigger as well. I'm noticing that. Well, I have a okay. new strategy now. Well, so I'm gonna, I, I've been one-shotting them. I think that's a mistake. You wanna sip? I, wanna I sip. think I should sip, sip for flavor maximization. You know what I did this with? Uh, I did this with Chris with Japanese alcohol. And we were like quarter of the way through and he was pouring way too much in the cups. And I was like, Chris, we, we gotta get through it. And surely enough, by the end of it, he, he doesn't remember the last 30 minutes of that video. Really? He got so drunk. You can see it in the video. He, he, he starts slurring. He, he just- I he, think I vaguely remember this is an old, it's like two years or three years ago. Yeah, because right? it, it was, it was I ago. filmed it so badly as well. So, but it was like, he got, he was spilling shit everywhere in my office and it was so bad. That's tight. That's the dream. Was, <laughs> I don't know. Cheers. All right, let's try it. Whoa. That's it's like way fizzier, no? Yeah. Am what, I crazy? What is that flavor? I uh, Okay. Wait, hold on. It's yeah. definitely, it feels like corn. This one's for sure corn. Everything's corn in the US. This is maize. Dude, I feel bad. I think I like Bud and Sapporo more than this. Is that wrong? Is that a bad thing no, to say? No, I don't think it, I don't think it is wrong. I think Dos Equis is a beer that like, and most Mexican beers to this point are like beers that are built around being drink, drink, drinking with limes yeah. and like maybe a bit of salt. Like especially Corona, it's like a bottle of Corona you put a lime in it. We're not gonna do that. I think this tastes bad. You know what I don't like about this is how fizzy it is. It's really fizzy. It's making me want to burp a lot. What is that aftertaste? It's got like this weird like strong aftertaste that isn't pleasant. <sighs> yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's all cover all 9,000 taste buds. Dude, I'm getting fucking nothing from this beer. I don't. This beer is less taste. It tastes less than Budweiser. 
no, I don't like this. I think this is bad. I, I, I also think that Mexican beers are so much better in a bottle because most of them are always like Corona, you always get it in a bottle, right? Yeah. And you never get it in a can because it tastes like ass in a can. That is so weirdly. I don't like that one. I'm going to make an executive decision. We put this in behind the bar. Whoa. Do you agree? I agree. Okay. I, I okay. massively. Okay, so if. if I think Dos Equis is overrated. Dude, because I always get worried. Dude, if I ever do talk shit about anything that is uh, Spanish, Mexican, anything like that, they they get so offended that like that's my thing. It could be war crimes, and they're like, nobody does it better than us. Nobody does it better than us. Uh, and it's well, like okay. what? I think in this spot you're fine because okay. for one, these are not like I think the main beers that yeah. I know people from Mexico like to drink, like Dos, Dos Equis specifically. Yeah. I, I think the beer that that for the most part mm. I see most. Mexican people in LA drinking, it's Modelo. This is, I've never seen this until I came here in America. Also, I need to, we let a burp, I got a burp, right? I, mean, I got him. Oh. This is your stream, what are you asking me? I'm just, I'm, I, I wasn't sure what the vibe was. We burp, we burping? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've started it now. You, you, we have to burp. This is the beer that I normally get in America um, at like bars or at um, like if it's a stadium because mm -hmm. this is the only one that doesn't taste like ass. Modelo, it's super popular. I, I think like every single game will have like Bud Light. Uh, what's the ribbon one? Uh, Paps Blue Ribbon. That's like a New England one. Yeah, right? yeah, that's I've, East Coast for the most part. I've heard that's bad. Yeah, so Bush Light will be further south. You'll have Coors Light at every game. <sighs> Coors Light as well. I, dude, it's, it's nasty. And I, this is the only one I think tastes pretty decent. I mean, we'll try it. I, mean, I think Modelo is fire. I, but you know who loves this beer is uh, is Mango. <laughs> well, I think Mango is pretty impartial to any beer. You're I think wrong. it's. Yeah, wrong. When I saw him, I don't think he was asking what beer it was. I think he was just drinking it. There was he says, "Is it beer?" Well, is it beer? Yes. All right, I'm drinking. My first time meeting Mango. Never met Mango in my life. Was it Beerio Cart? It was Beerio Cart, and that man drank everyone under the table, and we went out afterwards for dinner, mm -hmm. and everyone was like, right, "Maybe I'll have like a little beer," and then he's like, "I'll have the foot, please." Yeah, it was like a boot. <laughs> it was like a two liter beer. Yeah. And he drank it all before we even got halfway through our small beers. It was Bro, crazy. The first time I met him, if you don't know, Mango's one of like the, the best smashers of all time. He's the <laughs> goat of Super Smash Bros. Melee. And I'd watched him a lot because I came from that community. <laughs> and he used to do this thing, it was, it was really fun. It was called MILF, uh, okay. which stands for Mango's International League of Fun. Okay. Where they, it would be outdoor football, like American football with his subs. Okay. So any subs in Los Angeles could show up uh, and they would play like 10 on 10 tackle football. Jesus, okay. So I showed up uh, and um, this is the first time I'd ever met him. And to like make a good impression, I showed up with like a, like a, I think a 12 pack of Miller highlights. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I got us this. And he's like, dope. He takes it and he immediately is like, talks to one of his friends. He's like, hey, put this in the car. <laughs> what and the he fuck? just jacks the what beer the fuck? and then he's like all right let's play some football what the, <laughs> what the like, fuck what? that's <laughs> uh, like touche bro that's so funny all right cheers all right yeah i mean that's fine i like that one that's that's decent it's a little more flavor than this it's it's more it's more it has more of a body to it yeah which i think just means it hits more of my taste buds. I You like know what, let me, let me do an in-between sip here. Yeah, I was thinking around that. That's what I was thinking. I it's was think definitely better than that for me. Yeah, I thought it was better than Sapporo, but I'm not sure if it's better than Heineken. This is a tough decision. Oh, wow. Like Heineken has a lot of flavor. I think even if it's a shitty beer that you can get anywhere, it's still pretty good, I think. Connor, I leave it to you. I recommend here or here. I was thinking here. If that's the I call think, you'd like yeah, to make. I, I, that's the call I'd like to make. I think Modelo's good. It's great. It's a good, easy to drink beer. I have to cycle in five days for nine days straight, Chet, by the way. Dude, you're saying that like it's a, like, like one, we should give a shit. And like two, you're not going to be drinking every day on the cycling trip. Probably more than we're drinking today. No, I, no, that's not true. I mean, it is true. It is true. It is true. It's because you, your body hurts. You're you like, guys I need finish a... and you got like three of these in your life. No, no, no. I'm no, like, Kona, no. this is Chris. Kona, I've got no, us, I've got us all lunch. It's because we had yakitori. You have to have a beer with it. You can't not have a beer with it. You had yakitori. You I think when you and Chris get in a room, like your brains <laughs> like go down to like primordial states where all you can do is drink <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> You go to your British roots. I think it, I think there's a bit of that. Yeah. 
You know, I... You become Oonga Boonga Beer Beer Beer. You ever watch Castlevania, the anime? Oh, uh, yeah. You know when he drinks beer in the pub? He, he likes, like, get me an ale. Yeah. Like that. I'm, when he says that, I'm like, damn, something in, like, my bloodline is like, yes. <laughs> You're like... <laughs> a psyop activated. There was something about it that felt like, dude, I could like, you know when you get like a flashback, I'm like, dude, I have my ancestors. That's what you go to your nearest hub? Like me for real. No, no, not the hub. Shout out hub, baby. There's actually good British pubs in Japan. Yeah, it's called hub. No, okay. If you guys go to Japan, I recommend oh, don't go to hub. going to Ichiran Ramen. Yes. I've oh, wait, hold up, Mike. Wait, I think your mic died. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's right here. I got it. I mean, it's not a scuff, it's just, they also can't even, oh, actually they can't This is also a, a scuff spoon in general, so. Actually, it's not a scuff. Oh, is it the receiver? Yeah, it's just the receiver. Oh, okay. I just want to get it. Alright, chat. Alright, here we go. Ichiban is good. Both mics are there, that's not true, because I see something in here. Yeah, you guys can hear me, hold on. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Connor, can you talk? Yep, yeah, it's working. I see it picking up. I just smacked it. Let's give it a little smack Swag. in our hand. Damn. I'm so impressed people turned up on such short notice. This is great. What, to the stream? Yeah, that's crazy. It's like last time we did the serial thing. Bro, we are... This is two streamer award oh, winning yeah. creators. <laughs> oh, yeah. In Bring the flesh, in. bro. It in. <laughs> it's, yeah. an, it's a cannot miss okay. event. <laughs> okay, what was that? I was just like, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Right, next beer then. Uh, this is you, yeah? Uh, no, actually. Oh. I washed mine out. Yeah, then it yeah. just yeah. happened to end up on the wrong side okay. of the aisle. I think because I was like crying. All right, let's leave Mexico for a bit. Yeah, we've had we've had too much Mexico. I think we should have a fun beer. Okay. Now this is technically not a beer. Okay. But it did start a revolution mm. of beer-like alcohols that are consumed at colleges around the country. Okay. It's not what you're thinking of. Ah. Mike's hard. Okay. You know why I picked this? Why? I only know this from one for one reason. Um. This is what all the predators drink in To Catch a Predator. What? Yeah, every single episode with Chris Henson, they'd be like, why did you bring Mike's Hard Lemonade in a pack of condoms? Really? <laughs> That's all I know about this. It's like a beer for predators because I, it's easier to drink? I just assumed anyone who got like, yeah, because they would give, the, I, I assumed they were buying it for like the kids. Connor, <laughs> you don't have to admit this out loud. I'm just, that's, oh, I, I legitimately. because predators like it. I li no, I. The issue now I, is I, if you put I, this here. You I'm know like S tier. You guys, I gotta say, Shout I like this beer a lot. I, as, as a person who's, you know, I only ever went to the US from when I was like, you know, 20 onwards. My only experience of seeing this was in To Catch a Predator. I used to watch that. All, I used to watch clips on YouTube all the time. Mike's Hard for me is like an introductory beer. Cause like you start drinking alcohol usually- <laughs> An introduction to what? To beer, okay, to okay, alcohol, okay. To, to 30 year old men. <laughs> okay, all right. No, Mike's Hard is like, uh, like if you go to like a high school party, it's your first party ever. You're 16, 17, 18, maybe yeah. you're at a college party, whatever it is. Yeah. Like they'll have beer, mm. but if it's your first time drinking, mm. beer is kind of gross. Yeah, it's nasty. It's it like, super nasty. It's like not great for your stomach. Dude, it's very fizzy. Do they burp. do this in America as well where obviously as a kid you'd see your dad drinking something fizzy and like colorful and you're like, oh, can I try it? And your dad's like, all right, yeah. And then he laughs at you and you go. Whoa. Yeah, my dad died. Okay, yeah. My dad died. So. Wait, no, no. No, chill. it's like chill. It's oh, like. Why, yeah, are you no, doing, it's like, why are you using that for a bit? What the <laughs> fuck? What the? <laughs> oh my God. He's such a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Mike's hard. I'm stealing that watch. Oh God, it's clear as well. Why are you pouring so much? Now this did start a revolution like for, for alcohol because now we have White Claw, you have Truvies, you have Bud Light Seltzer. There's a seltzer mm. revolution happening in the States at least with every single beer company creating their own yeah. seltzer, which is like- Beer's heavy, beer's heavy. Yeah. It, you know, if you are at a party, drinking a lot of beer is, is um, not fun. Yeah, and this is technically not, not a beer. It's not. Yeah, this is like a it's strong just, zero. Yeah, it's, it's just a seltzer 
but we're still gonna have it. Oh man, it tastes or smells. Jesus Christ. It smells gross. It smells like cheap it perfume. Does. It does. Jesus Christ. Oh wow, I really don't wanna eat this. Or drink this. Dude, that's nasty. Bro, Dude, that's, what's weird is that's insane. That's a that's a children's drink. What's insane to me is that there was a period of my life where I would only you, drink seltzers, and now I drink this seltzer and it's kind of grossing me does out. Does this how count sweet as seltzer? This no, this is way too sweet. No, it's I, a seltzer. I can't taste any alcohol in this. Bro, what the fuck? I guess it's massive and fun. Though. It has a it has a five percent alcohol. I, yeah, I think this is a children's drink. I think if you gave this to a kid, they wouldn't even know. They'd be like, great, I love Fanta. Yeah. This is great. You know what? <laughs> this is, this is, the people who are on To Catch a Predator. They're onto something. <laughs> I <Yeah>. didn't want to <laughs> say that. I <laughs> didn't want to say that out loud. <laughs> I thought well, that sentence. You baited me into saying You baited me <laughs> into saying I can't believe you said that, bro. <laughs> they're onto something. What do you mean by that? Speak to that. <laughs> no. What are they yeah, onto, Connor? I think the B is great. It's great. It's just, <laughs> yeah. It's just, I, I think... <laughs> You know how wild it was seeing that as a kid, that show? Like, that was like my introduction to like America. Because we, we had such normal TV shows and then they were like, why are you trying to have sex with a child? And we were like, this is insane. I think, I mean, most people's introductions to other cultures are like characterizations of those cultures. Mm. So for Americans, it's like, That's That's I guess, so predators yeah. or like cowboys. Yeah. Like Americans in, in anime. <laughs> yeah. Let's fucking have a great time, everybody! <laughs> I feel like it's every. You know who's every anime American? Is uh, it's like uh, American Pete. <laughs> <laughs> he is like the human version <laughs> of how anime depicts Americans. <laughs> I wish you were kind of wrong. It's true though. All right, this just because I'm not a predator. Just putting that out there. This is right down here. This is I, I actually thought it was shit. It actually just tastes awful as well. The thing is, like, I, I don't mind certain seltzers. I think White Claw is like a little, it has like a weird taste. It's very perfumey. I kind of like Trulies. I, I think White Claw works because it's just, it's like very minimal in everything. It's kind of like. They're basically like, trying to make a LaCroix version of alcohol. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just kind of alcohol water with a, like a sniff of flavor. It's yeah. not much. Yeah, I think, I think, um, I think it. Yeah. Uh, there's certain flavors of Truly that I like. I think um, strawberry, orange generally are shit. Yeah. Um, I think like mango or pineapple yeah. is always a good bet. Like more like, tropical one? It always does well. I've, I've never been disappointed by like a pineapple drink. Like ever. But like strawberry and especially orange. I mean, this is the worst. Yeah. Black cherry easily the worst. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. All right, let's get it going um, to another. Let's go back to beer. Yes. Let's go back to a classic. Oh, God. Let's go back to Coors Light. Coors they they Light. have very good branding. We're as cold as the Rockies. <laughs> and then you go to the bar and they have like the ice things. That, that, that was very cool. Coors' branding is only drink this when it is as close to freezing as possible so that you cannot taste yeah, anything yeah. but the temperature. It's just, it's just, it's just nothing. It's, I, if I recall correctly, it does taste like nothing. Mm -hmm. Like I think it'll be, if I had to guess right off the top of my head, I think it'll be like here. And there's Maybe. actually a point, if you have cores and it warms up a little bit, you start to realize like, oh, how this tastes it, like shit. <laughs> how bad it tastes. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Well, let's see. I mean, look at that the color. That's like piss. I mean, they all like piss, but this one more so. Jesus. Like, I'm, I'm analyzing it. Like I want to say this snob. is the second most popular beer in the States. After Bud? Uh, after Bud. Is Bud actually the most popular, or is it just like the most well-known? No, it's the most, it's the most popular. It's because they spend the most highly mad sold. money. They have an insane marketing budget. They're at every sports event. Dude, that tastes awful. That's so bad. Yeah, Coors, like Coors Light has a very distinct aftertaste. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's like shoes, <laughs> like like muddy shoes have been left in the vat. That's tough. That's tough. I think it's gross. It's like ugh. It's it so is. Yeah, it's a little earthy. It's a little corn. Do they have Coors Heavy or something? That's it's Coors Banquet. What the fuck is that? There's like so there's versions of every single popular beer. Like yo, know, I saw when there was like Bud um, Tomato or something. Well, okay, that that was that, weird. They get crazy. What was that? That one they just get fun, but like. For Bud, there's like Bud Light, Budweiser, Bud Premium. There's Coors, there's Coors Banquet. There's um, like Modelo Especial, mm. there's Modelo Negro. There's like... 
I've Corona. always hated the idea of like Bud Premium. As yeah. if to imply the original product is somehow inferior or shit. They do with all of them. Like, like Miller has Miller High Life. I think for the purposes of this, we're going to go with the most popular version. Of yeah, it. yeah. Um, yeah, this is kind of where I, I think this is worse than Dos I forgot how to pronounce it. Dos Equis? Equis? Dos Equis? Equis? Dude, I'm too, I'm so British. It's yeah, that was British that was so. That was such a British moment. Can't read Spanish. Dos Equis? Dude, I don't, I can't read. That Dos Equis is hitting different right now. <laughs> <laughs> this party's chill. Why are there no chicks though? The reason, I, 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 I hate and love streaming with you because you never miss a beat to make fun of me. But I also know that it's great content, but god damn it. Hey, come on, I got my damn. fair share when I was on the ski slope you, fucking you half did, dead. You did, you did. You were <laughs> that was so good. I watched that Bob it was such back. a rare moment of yeah. you just not I'm being there. I'm never like that. Yeah. I got so beaten down. Uh, I actually don't mind Coors as much. I think... Mm. No, I'm not a fan of that one. That's nasty. I think um, I'm okay with either here, right above Mike's Hard, right below Dos Equis, or yeah. right here, right above Dos Equis, right below Budweiser. I don't specifically love the... It's about the same for me as this one. We, you we, make the we're, call. we're really good at being on the same page here, actually. We're fucking synced right um, now. I'm going to move this, and it's going here. It's just a little bit worse. It just doesn't taste that good. When people taste beer professionally, yeah, they, it's not. It's for sure not good. It's, do it's they like, do they spit it out? Do they, I, I, they don't swallow, right? Is, that, is it like wine tasting? Oh, beer tasting? If they're like, I guess know, it depends. I wonder. It's it, by it's by the gamer. It's by the gamer. Yeah, each gamer has their own preference. All right, let's try another one then. Okay, I think we're we're doing pretty. I'd say this is fair so far. Like you can see, the, the more do a quick double check. The more aesthetically pleasing the packaging, I feel like the, the nicer it is. Look at this bird. Yeah, no, a hundred percent Coors Light is Willow. Again, it needs to be like freezing. So it's actually not close. Yeah, it needs to be freezing. Um, I actually think Coors Light has the best packaging because um, their whole branding is if it gets cold enough, the Rockies turn blue, and that's when it's good to drink, which I think is actually kind of dope. Uh, that's cool, uh, but also I don't want my my alcoholic beverage to be some kind of like child gimmick. Connor, of like, this Coors oh, is as blue. cold as the rock. It turns blue, I can drink it, guys. I drive a Dodge <laughs> Ram, I drink Coors Light, and sometimes I beat my wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's just what I imagine the announcer talks. <laughs> yeah, probably. Tank tops only. No, I think, I think European beer goes for more flavor and tries to look more, um, European beer looks odd, actually, now that I think about it. It tries to look more regal. Yeah. Or, like, more fancy. Um, for sure. Americans just go for simplicity, like Americana. I mean, there's no one more simplistic than the Japanese here. Well, I think Japanese packaging is garbage. They went with Silver Bullet. I think Sapporo and Asahi logos, not that great. Well, let's talk about fun packaging. Let's talk about Pabst Blue Ribbon. Now, Blue Ribbon will always have this on it, but oh, this one cool. also has a cool little art piece on the back. Show this oh, off. It's actually oh, very okay. cute. Okay, so here's, here's, what, here's what I know about this one. Tell when me. I used to watch Family Guy a lot, this seemed to be like... Put your body in front. Like this seemed chest. to be like the beer that Peter Griffin was always drinking. Really? Or like no, some no, kind of knockoff. He, he drank the one from Quahog, right? Oh, I guess maybe it was it's a knockoff. Like, am I crazy, chat? Am I, am I... No, maybe you're right. It was the beer from Quahog. It was like Quahog I, Brewery, you know? Yeah, but it, I swear it was it was like a parody of this one, right? Am I crazy? I, I, I Chat, know. please help me out here. I, I feel like I'm, maybe I'm crazy. Uh, so Chat seems to be very divided. Some people are saying this is the best one. This is the worst one. <laughs> well, so the thing about Pabst Blue Ribbon, it's kind of like in and out Although it's available everywhere, it's regionally much more popular East Coast. I imagine so. Uh, it's also like, I think, a decent beer by all metrics. Like it's not, it doesn't, try to sell itself by being, hey, this is inoffensive and you can drink this without tasting anything. Like it tries to have flavor. Mm. So like, you know, I think this is the beer of like probably West Virginia, uh, most party schools out there, you, Boston. Someone said you are an uncultured swine if you don't drink this. What does that even? I, I think I, the people who drink this wouldn't uh, actually, use the term uncultured swine. I, I think <laughs> they would probably think you're cringe for saying that. <laughs> yeah, they'd be like, "What? Cheers! All right, let's try." It. I mean, I like it. It's just, it's very passable. Here's the thing, Connor. Okay, tell you me, tell named, me the thing. You're named after this beer. What do you mean? 
Connor Dog Virginia. Okay. This is the beer of Virginia. No, it's not, is it? Well, it's popular East Coast. Virginia is yeah, the first well, state. Well, only out, only out of obligation, really. I mean, it was a mistake. It was the first one. If, if like, we had to choose the first state over again, it wouldn't be Virginia. <laughs> like if, if we had a choice on, like, what yeah. the first one was, it wouldn't be okay, Virginia. I, Virginia would be, like, 20th. What would be the first state if we could choose? Depends which coast you're on, right? They'll, they'll say different. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where you're I'll going. Say, I'll say Ohio. <laughs> if, so if your first Starting state... Starting number one, your first biggest state, downfall. You would not be a coastal state. No, no. You would walk no. across the coast. And then you're like, And then now. you'd say, you know what? This area. Yeah, because you're then... It makes sense as well, because Ohio now is like the number one worst. So it's kind of a nice story arc. You keep spilling. Oh, my... No, I, I was like, what? No, I don't. <sighs> What do you think? Um, it's it's genuinely so hard to have any feelings on this beer. It's nothing. It's somehow more nothing than Budweiser. I mean, let's find out. Cheers to my health. I think it's marginally more wow. flavorful than Bud, but like not by much. Oh, wow. I want you to do, a, you know what? You want to do a blind one, right? I want you to do a blind taste okay. test here. All right. Actually, you know what? I can just do this. What? Just close your eyes. Okay. Oh, the different cans? Okay. Can okay. one, take a sip. <laughs> it's it's front facing. Oh, oh shit. Keep the eyes closed. Enjoy that. Think about it. Don't say anything. Second okay. can. Take a sip. Think about that. Enjoy that. Talk to me. I think the first one was Paps. Uh-huh. I think the second one was Budweiser. Which one do you like more? I, I think I like the first one more, a little bit. They're very similar. They're very, very similar. It was correct. You can okay. open your eyes. Okay. Pabst was the first one. Personally, I would put Pabst above... Uh, Sapporo? Yeah. Um, Sapporo. Sapporo? Sapporo. Whenever I said Osaka, like, Hassan Osaka. would be like, uh, Hassan would be like, that's white boy swag. Ah, Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> I do, this clip. Yeah, is, dude, I hate that clip. I hate that clip so much. There's Japan, like, Connor going off in Japanese. Ah, uh, esto grande ice to cold. Yeah, I'm literally, I'd so, <laughs> I, dude, the worst part is, like, it has like 500,000 views. And it's literally, oh, really? it's literally the, probably the most, like if any sentences I would ever say in a day, <laughs> it's probably the most non-Japanese. I, I said, I think the only Japanese word was hitotsu. Yeah. <laughs> the rest were all like <laughs> grande hotokohi. <laughs> like what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. And then, but yeah, Hassan's like, oh, he's done it again. Yeah, Hassan's the like, white boy no, swag. no, what the fuck? He, how, how can he keep Not getting away with it? I get one of them hot coffees. It was uh, so bad. I want to put this above Sapporo, but I'll <laughs> let you pick. Mm, let me, let me. This, this can is ridiculous. <laughs> this has to be a money waste. Um, well, probably like, not. Like, probably, like, probably like, paid the premium for the can price. Like, I'm hitting an empty pot. It doesn't make it that, that doink sound. But it's so thick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to try Oh, they're so similar. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to put it higher, but they're genuinely the same. I think you make the call. Yeah, I'll put it higher. I'll let the East Coast boys be a little. I'll, I'll let them get a W today. Okay. They've been, they've, they've been he fucking hates Japan. Get them deported. Get them deported, Well, baby. if we had Yebisu chat, it would be right here. No question. Oh, oh my goodness. You never tried Yebisu when you were there, right? That's so good. Well, actually, did, what? Actually, I don't know. What was the beer we had? Remember the first place we went to? We had... um. Like dumplings or not? Gyoza? Uh, gyoza? Oh, that was whatever draft they had. I'm, oh, I'm assuming okay. it was Asahi. Okay. It, uh, Asahi is the default. If they're fancy, they have Sapporo. And if they, they're real fancy, they have Kirin, which is a little bit fancier. And if they're giga Kirin, fancy. I like, I fuck with Kirin. Kirin has a sick logo too. Yeah, Kirin's sick. I like Kirin too. Um, um, but yeah, she's the best. All right, give me another one. So we were East Coast. Okay. We're going to go a little further South. Okay. You obviously know about light beer, Bud Light, yada, yada. But what about... Bush Light. I didn't know this was a thing. Bush Light is a less lesser known outside of the States, but yeah. it's a very popular beer. Yeah. It's a light beer. It's a cheap beer. Mm. It's something that like like many people oh. in, in South and East America's fathers might have drank a fucking Chat, six pack Chad every night. Chad is spamming, oh no, oh no, oh God, ew. This Why? is Bush Light, the big one. Because it's not like, this is not known for its flavor. This is like, 
hey, I fucking have three bratty ass kids. I work a nine to five that I don't like, but I have to pay the bills. I want to go home and drink a six pack of something cheap that gets me drunk and does the job. It's from St. Louis as well. I want to have a beer stomach and I want to watch TV. I want to watch football. And that's Bush, Bush Light. Maybe some NASCAR in you. Yeah. It has, it has 3.2 grams of protein, I would say. There we go. That's a working class beer. All right. We're getting. We're I, getting I'd always thought that it was very odd they always put brewed in the USA. Like, I would be ashamed of that. So I, no. would, I would not. I would hide that. What? It's like. No. First of all, if American you, if beer. You gave is, us, if you gave me a beer in the UK and said brewed in the US, I'd be like, sheesh. America is top five in the world in beers right now. In what sense? Like producing? In terms of who makes the, the best beer. <laughs> no, no, We're no, top no. five. No. All time. No, 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 no. Yes, sir? No, that's not true. 100%. I no way. Are you Our kidding craft me? beer industry is insane. No, I, I Over think... Over the past I, 20 years? I think America's great craft beer. Our IPAs are unmatched. Um, yeah, but they're mainly hazy. I think what we're worse at is like lagers. Yeah, pills, lagers. Our um, pilsners aren't that great. Wheat beers, you guys suck at. But our crafts are great. I've our IPAs good, are fire. I've never had a good wheat beer. You're, they're always hazy, though, as well. I'm, I'm giving myself top five, all right? I didn't say you, fucking you number one. You made shit up. It's top five in one specific category. If we dominate one category, I feel like that should push us to top five for beer as a whole. Mm. I'm just saying. I don't know if they... I didn't say top five for, for pilsners. I didn't say top five for pale ales. Okay, all right, whatever. Let's, let's drink bush light. I, you know what I hate about it most is the way it's spelled. Why? It's like bush, bush. <laughs> it's a name. Like what? I don't like it. You just don't I, like I, the guy's I, name. You still fuck with the guy's no, name. I don't, I don't like his name. Change your name, bro. I just fix it. Okay. I think was it you who I told? Oh, you got that on your hand and slip. <laughs> I, I told. I told some. I was it you who I told? I was like in Japan. If you when you cheers. The most important person in the, because of course there's an important person. Mm. The most important person. Ching's higher. Goes highest. So like, and then the moment I told Ludwig that, he started just going, "Cheers, guys." No, cheers. I didn't. Cheers. Do that. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was I Hassan. Didn't. Oh, maybe it was Hassan. Yeah, that was, that was not me. Yeah, I, I I told someone it. That would be that. a Hassan move. I remember <laughs> we we talked about this. It was at the yeah the bar where we were playing a uh, fucking um, last night. Remember with Pete. Oh yeah, that was fun. That was a good one. That's where you told me, that but was, I, yeah, was but I wasn't like fucking because it was a group like, of us. You were like, yeah. Oh yeah, that, that's, that's yeah, where yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it was me, Gaunt, Pete, and uh, Ludwig. Yeah, that was a good night. Mm. Um, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. It doesn't taste much worse than some of the worst. I was expecting this to be god awful. No, 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 it's not. The thing is, people are like shitting on it. It's like the whole point of this beer is that it's inoffensive. And you can have a six pack of it without like feeling sick of it because it's it's almost water. It's like it very. It does have a nasty aftertaste though. I won't yeah, lie. it has a malty aftertaste. I think the aftertaste is akin to Coors. I'm gonna try a Coors here. It's gonna be a race to the bottom. Oh, okay. I think it's better than Coors. Really? Let me try again. I gotta I gotta confirm. Yeah, I think it's better than Coors. Mm. But I'm, I'm I'm indifferent. It's it's very similar. I would put it. Do they have the same like bottling plant or whatever, and they just use both and re repackage? Uh, I think um, Anheuser Busch owns this beer. So Anheuser Busch, wait, right? Uh, yeah, it's not good. Uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's worse than Coors. I'm I'm a real. I'm having another sip. I'm not a fan. I'm, I'm gonna Google what Anheuser Busch owns. I think it's worse. Worse than calls. I'm saying it. Right, you I'm make the call. It. You make the call. It's going lower, chat. I think it's somehow Mike's Hard Lemonade is unrivaled at the bottom. Um, Chris Hansen did numbers on their on their uh, reputation abroad. All right, here it is. Anheuser Busch beers in brands. Too many. They, they do have a lot. They have a monopoly. So they own Bud Light, Budweiser, obviously. They own Michelob Ultra, Stella Artois, Bush. They own Stella? Yep, they own Bush Light, they own Natty Light, which I actually don't think we have today, which I should have gotten, that was a mistake. Is Natty Light famous? It's like, it's Bush Light, Natty Light, and Bud Light are mm. like, it's like, a, how do I describe this? It's like kind of like um, Zeus Poseidon in Hades. So like obviously Zeus is Bud Light, like he's top dog, top okay. G. Okay. But like these three run light beers. 
Okay. So like Natty Light is like that would be like your Poseidon. So what's his trailer park? Is that? Yeah, they would. They run trailer parks. Okay. And then your Bush Lights like your Hades. That's like. I realized we've been stacking these up, and Chat can barely. We've stacked them in like the worst way. I'm just realizing now we should have just move them along. I'm sorry, Chat. It's alright. We're getting there. We we're, we're drones. I'm, I'm not. Thank God. Oh fucking damn it. This makes way more sense. Oh, did you spill? No, I spilled water. Oh, okay. Well, it's fine then. Um, you, oh, the trash is open? Yeah. It's been open the whole Kobe. time. Is this supposed to? That, <laughs> that wasn't even close. Kobe, right. round two. Did you just got my phone? <laughs> stop. Kobe, round three. Stop, Kobe. <laughs> stop. It's going nowhere. All right, let's go this one. What's this? Mickey's. What I'm glad you pulled this out. What the fuck is Mickey's? So we're, we're drinking this in a much different format than you normally would. Mickey's normally comes in a 40 ounce glass bottle that is like tinted dark green. It's a huge, huge bitch. You get one of them. It's a malt liquor. Mm. Malt liquor, a much stronger oh, I did see it in the beer store. than regular light beer. Uh, so other popular versions, you get like a 40 Miller High Life. Um, that Let's say the brand of 40s. fucking dreadful. Yeah, so like the way that this is normally drank is by like one, a person addicted to fucking malt liquors that gets one of these a day and just chugs through it. Oh, we have or ad break. Two. Oh, ad break? Well, you guys can sub with Twitch Prime. Yeah, they can yeah, sub. Yeah, it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll have the vault. We'll have the vault. Everybody who's subbed, lol W in chat, so the people who aren't subbed think we're having <laughs> a really good time and we what just dropped a bang. What is cult? Colt 45, what is that? Colt 45 is another uh, like malt liquor. Oh, okay. Like someone said this is the liquor store beer. Yes. Um, yeah, this is like the this is like the ultimate like, hey, let me get a fucking 40 ounce of Mickey, uh, 40 ounce Mickey, let me get it in a brown bag and let me just drink it. Do you have something called Frosty Jacks? No, that this, sounds like a fast food chain. Th this is like, um, it's like a cider and it looked like it came, it comes in literally like a normal bottle. Like a two liter. Like a two liter yeah, plastic soda. bottle, but it's it's like, 10% alcohol. Ew. It's vile. That it gross. reminded me of this when I saw it in the store. So yeah. Oh, thank you for giving out five subs. Nice. All right. Possibly. Let, let, me, appreciate it. let me show you guys the logo because this looks like it's intended to hurt you. Like, so yeah, it's, why drink, it? it's drank by re liquor store regulars and then also certain college parties will have something called, um, it's kind of outdated now, but you can do Edward 40 hands. Oh, I've heard of this. So you I get, you tape that. your hands like really thickly taped with two 40 ounce liquors with tops open, and you have to drink both of the 40 ounce liquors before the that's, end of the night. And you can't that, use your hands that's disgusting. until you've done it. It is disgusting, you definitely throw up on that. I noticed you haven't drank any of your water. You're brave. Uh, I've been sipping. You've been sipping, bro. What I do you spilled mean? a bit of it. Oh no, I had, I had a second water. Oh shit, he's hydrated, okay. I was, I was like, that's very brave of you. So I wake up in the morning and I step outside. <laughs> Man, Charming Joe was so good yesterday. He was so good. He was insane. He killed it. All right, I'm watered up now. All right, let's drink this. Let's drink this pain. A little peculiar. We should wait a little bit now. There's still an ads. Oh yeah, true. Five out of seven, we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there. Get 10 there, hours baby. later. Man, I'm in did you ever do the beer olympics the what someone asks in the, chat. the beer olympics no idea what that is man this must have been an idea we had that i forgot about we the beer olympics well your your drinking games i assume were similar to the uk ones where the objective was to just make it so somebody like at least one person couldn't leave the house that night because they were so like fucked that is kind of how it ends up going, yeah. Because like we would do, do you, I think you call it something else. We call it Ring of Fire, where you would play playing cards and then everyone pours a bit of their drink in. Oh, King Cup, King's Cup. King Cup, yeah, that's yeah. what you call it. We have we have that too, and that was yeah, that was yeah, gross. yeah, yeah. King's Cup, Rage Cage are games that are centered around bullying one person usually. Yeah, but pe we yeah, we they, we made this rule where the person had to leave, and I luckily I never lost. They had to leave the room, and we we were allowed twenty seconds to put anything in the kitchen in the drink. And so it would end up just being something that would just was too gross. It was it was vile. They put like olive oil in it and Ew. stuff. Yeah, and they, it was so bad. I I would have refused to drink it if I saw a layer of oil. I'd have been like, fuck yeah, no. Fuck that. No. Yeah. Yeah. We we had a lot of really drinking games that would just kill you. I, yeah, the drinking game I like playing is Liar's Dice. What's that? It's not really. It's more of a betting game. But oh, I okay. also like drinking every time you lose a die. 
You ever play Liar's Dice? No, I've never heard of that. Oh, it's fire. It's like, uh, it was in Pirates of the Caribbean, I, but I, I I got like addicted to it. I made all my friends play it. <laughs> and it was like... Uh, Alright, we're back from ads as well. Welcome yeah, it's back. it's just a fire game. We're going to drink uh, Mikey's now. Is it Mickey's? This is a Mickey's. Mickey's it's sorry, a 40 Mikey's. ounce normally malt liquor. This is a 24 ounce version. No, yeah, actually not that bad. It's, it's somehow better than Coors, I think. Am I wrong in saying that? I think, I think, it's, I think it's better than Coors. I think Mickey's and malt liquor as a whole is like a, w a way more distinct taste. So it's like if you're if you're newer to beer, like malt liquor is just fucking gross. And like I, I really like like be the traditional beer flavor. Yeah, you're and that's closer to it. Whereas so this, this is, is I think thing. this is where we have a bit of a divide. I personally don't like malt liquor that much. I think malt liquor kind of has like a kind of tastes like whoppers to me. Like it has a weird, gross aftertaste that I don't enjoy. I, I don't like buds. malt too B Bud's the control. Look at it. Shit, I think I like it more than Bud. You like it more than I Bud? I think I like it more than Bud. Is that bad? That's bad, right? Is it bad that you like it more I'm gonna than I'm going to go live in that liquor store. I'm going <laughs> to be that resident local. Hold on, I'm going to mute the sub notif. Is it busy, y'all? You know, it's just going to fuck up your vibe. <laughs> right? Because you have to edit around it. Uh, True. I think I have it off on my actual OBS. Plus, you don't need it to go. Bring. No, no, I know. Bring. Why, run, why running so many ads? Twitch deal. That's basically why. Every hour we run ads. The thing is, Chad, do you want your mans to get the bag from Twitch? <laughs> and if the answer is yes, the only way Twitch gives out the bag is if you run a shit ton of ads. <laughs> it's true. Okay, I. Now on YouTube, I don't have to run shit. <laughs> Just like hypothetically, you get a YouTube up. deal. Oh. Uh, what, what do you think? I think. Um, that you're a little baby and <laughs> you can't handle Mickey's. <laughs> uh, I would personally put Mickey's right, so I would have reversed this. I would have put Bush, Bush above Coors no. and I would have put Mickey's in between, so above Coors, below Bush. Right here is where I'd put it right now. Okay. But I'm in, this is your tier list. I'd put it, I'd put it here. <laughs> I genuinely, I genuinely think it, <laughs> I, I think it tastes better than all these. I think this is not bad. Try, try Bud. It's got no flavor. It's easy to drink, but no, this has got more flavor than Bud. Am I crazy? Am I insane? Shit has more flavor than water. It doesn't mean I want it more. <laughs> I like it. I think it's fine. I think I, I drink it. I, I don't want to drink it, but I would. That's like I, I if I had two of these, I'd feel vile. Buddy, it's your tier lists. I'll respect your choice here. You're just trying to absolve any like blame you could get from your potential. No one would blame you for liking malt liquor. If anything, it's more Chad. I don't think is that Chad. I, I, yeah, it's malt liquor. Uh, what does that mean? What does that mean? What is malt? Malt is just like a like an old school flavoring agent that would be used in a lot of like baked goods and then like also alcohol. So I like love that it's, shit. it's more Chad to fuck with malt, well, and it's more soy to be like, no, I prefer beer that tastes like nothing in yeah, water. Go, go drink your Mike's hard soy boy. Literally, yeah, this is what you can say. To me. <laughs> All right, I just have to eat it. Okay, next up, we we've got a uh, seven left. Um, my oh, man's oh. is good at math. We got seven beers left. Let's it's start counting. hitting. Let's start hitting. I want you to hit my number one beer in college. Okay. Uh, I drink this all the time. My friend Ben is who got me on this. Michelob Ultra. Now, some people might be a little hurtful. What is this? They might call this Chickalub Ultra. Why do they call it that? Well, the reason is because Michelob Ultra's main branding is around its low-calorie, low-carb uh, it, formula. It's still got a lot. It's basically one of the water beers of oh, America. Oh, I thought that was per 100 milliliters. That's per one pint. What yeah, so like in a 16 ounce, I think it's like, it's like 95 calories. Uh, and it's like it's like 1.8 carbs. It's something fucking crazy. Um, Where most yeah. beers you'll have, it's like 120, 140. Japan, so, Japan is the same thing, but I think legally it's not allowed to be called beer, because it's, I think after a certain point, it, it's actually just not beer. Like it's something else. And it's like it's called like hoppershu, I think. Um, and the way they make it, because you just can't have like no carbs in beer, because that that's that's the whole point. Yeah, this is 4.2% uh, alcohol still, and it's like, it, if you, so like the whole idea is if I'm at, in, at a college party and I want eight fucking beers that night, yeah, I could either have 140 I, calorie beers and I end up with over a thousand calories, or I have this and I'm like at 700 calories. Is this what we drank in the Birio cup? Yeah. 
We had glass Mickeys. Because, I, yeah, we, we drank them and I felt like I tasted nothing and I just burped. Like, yeah. like and it was just like, that was it. It's the, so that, and that's actually a really good point to bring up. This is like what I used to do in college is I played Birio Kart. Yeah. I played Mario Party drinking. And so it's like, what is the best beer for that? Oh yeah, definitely. We don't want a beer with, you don't like, like people will be like, you oh, would, you would, you, it'd be such a waste. There's no flavor. Like, are you really going to go and drink like, oh, you know what? Let me get a fine IPA for this beerio cart. IPA is like 8% as well. Yeah. You'll be fucked. Like you're supposed to chug this, this at is Mark good. 5. This is bad chat, just in case you weren't aware. Just Mark 5 chugging. Okay. Um, I can't speak on this. It's like rating my child. Does, does this not bring back like hurtful memories when you drink this? Like you're like, oh, oh. No, in my head, I want to chug the whole thing. I've probably chugged like. I okay, I, I've said this a lot about some of these beers. Like I, I've said that it tastes like nothing, but this actually tastes yeah. like nothing. Literally. It's just fizzy water that's alcoholic, like yeah. slightly. It's alcoholic fizzy water. That's almost impressive how they've got it to taste like nothing. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even think I don't even think I can rate this. Like there's nothing to rate. I would I, I would assume. <laughs> what so, do I? Something this inoffensive, right? Something that is this catered towards getting you drunk without mm. having any flavor mm. can't be an S, A, or B tier. No. Presumably, it also can't be an F or D tier. It's got to be around bars. I assume it's like a C tier. I assume it's as middle as you can get. Because it's, uh, it doesn't, it's not like it fucking hurt you. No. And it's not uh, like you enjoyed it. I would, I would do this. I think I'd put it, move this along and I'd put it here. I think that's what I'd do. I respect that decision. I would respectfully put it above Budweiser, but I also understand. I think Budweiser is a little better because this just has nothing. There's okay. nothing. Hey, I get it. I'm, I'm just speaking my truth, so that's all right. Yeah, that's right. No, it's not all right. Jank and Pwn. <laughs> yeah. Jank and Pwn. Jank and Pwn. Jank and Pwn. Oh, fuck. I was going to do scissors, and then for some reason I did it like that. I don't know what, what. Better. You got lucky. You got lucky. Remember when you lost and you didn't do those two ski runs that you promised you would? <laughs> I do. Yeah, I do. But that's, I'm going to collect do. interest on that. Remember when I threw our chess match and I could have crushed you? N I don't recall anything like that. Well, I would have been... Did I you? Did you? Uh, I don't remember I that, actually. I would have been crazy. It's crazy how I don't remember that. I was, I was doing shit on the board no one's ever done before. Yeah. You're throwing. Yeah, true. I also was in a better position. You, you, actually, you actually were beating me. I, I was just fast. Rushing. And then now he's been grinding chess, so now he beats me. Uh, this is the one beer I've never heard of in my life. What the fuck is Bud Ice? I've never heard of this. <laughs> what? Dude, this packaging is like monster energy. Yeah, it's packaged like an energy drink from the 90s. <laughs> Dude, look at this. Look at, look at <laughs> This is like Boost in the UK. So yeah. Bud Ice is apparently an Anheuser-Busch owned beer. Uh... It has an ice <laughs> brewing process. <laughs> what does that even mean? It's literally That's brewed so at a dumb. temperature below freezing, Bro. which formulates ice crystals in it. And apparently it tastes like semi-carbonated flavored water. I'm convinced that if beer companies wanted to make like viable semiconductors for us to use, they would they would be able to do it way oh. quicker than any research institution. 100%. Because they, they would just find out how to do it for beer. They're like, we actually got to uh, Kelvin 1 um, to make this beer. So here's what happened. Like beer is, like any other industry, based around trends. So like seltzer is the common trend right now. In the 90s, there was an ice brewed trend. And it was yeah. like a huge marketing push that we were too young to know, where they were like, this was brewed in ice. And this is stuck around. This is basically... It's 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 genuinely opposite in the UK. This is a time capsule. I in the UK we're like this is the dirtiest, oldest, oh, smelliest yeah. beer you've ever heard. All it's fa so our old. family's been making this beer since <laughs> 1745. It requires four ounces of piss. <laughs> Two fucking goats sit on this beer for four weeks, <laughs> and then everyone's like, yay, yay. Yeah, yeah, and then we just drink fucking Kaufenberg. Kaufenberg, no, what is it called? Um, the Carlsberg, that's the one that- Carlsberg? Carl that's the Belgian beer, right? Danish. Danish. It's Carlsberg fucking... is fire. No, Carlsberg is- Really? Car Carlsberg I fuck with like, Carlsberg. Carlsberg is like the number one like dog shit beer. I fuck with it. <laughs> oh, ew. Bro, that's vile. I hated that. It, it actually like tastes super artificial. Ew. That's vile. 
Maybe I'm bearded out, but that was gross to me. Oh, it's overly um, carbonated as well. Oh, but fuck, that sucks. That, that, that does suck. That is such a gas station. <laughs> I, was, I was watching the... Um, I was watching the Philip DeFranco show. <laughs> I just I like watching it because it's like a it's a, a, yeah. a nice routine, and um, you're gonna miss it. Okay, finally you got it. And um, this just blew my mind. The, he, uh, one segment in the show, he's like, so it turns out these these pills you could buy at the gas station were just worse than heroin. And I was like, how does that happen? How do you make how do you make pills that get people as addicted as heroin? Just and then just you're like, oops, my bad. Sorry, I sold those at the gas station. I do think there's a lot of shit that gets sold that's not FDA regulated, and until the, the FDA cracks down, which can be like a two, three year process, I guess it's possible. The gas station seems like this mythical place where sometimes laws don't exist, and like stuff just happens, and like beers like this exist. The, yeah. wouldn't it, like this would never work outside of a like the most gr grimiest gas station. Yeah, I mean, gas stations is like where you can buy alcohol if you're in a rage. It's where you can like still get vape products that aren't allowed to be sold on market. This is the worst. The question is, is it worse than Mike's? And I don't think it is. I think it is. Uh, Mike's is pretty bad. Well, I take a sip of each. I, I refuse I, to. I, I refuse to take another sip. I'll put. I'll just do it. You know what? So pedophilia is better than butt ice, is what I'm getting right now. <laughs> yeah, if you brew your beer sub-zero, you are worse than a pedophile. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tight race to the bottom, but someone had to lose. <laughs> okay, the people who came in now are going to be very confused about why I said that. <laughs> That's oh, fun. my tummy is so full, bro. All right, okay. I'm getting right. there. Okay, damn. Dude, you, how? How do you do that? Bro, it's a fucking allergic right. reaction or some shit. Let's go for a Mexican one again. Because uh, they, they, they've been good. This one is... That does not look good. It kind of looks like a, like a communist symbol. It, it does. But uh, Tecate is, I, I would argue, mm. like maybe behind... This looks like the bad boy of beers. <laughs> I think it's like up there with Pacifico and Modelo, where really? it's like one of the more... Um, uh, I like how half, ones. half the chat, I love how divided chat gets. They're like, dude, this is the best one. Dude, this is the worst. I think this one might be good. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot. I'm willing to be open-minded. Let's find out. We'll see. Let's find out. They're brewed in Baja, California, which is on the border of California and Mexico. Well, that's good to know, I guess. I... Why did lager become the the only beer that people really drink in America. Oof, there's a documentary about that shit probably. I got no fucking clue. Okay, I thought there actually was that. I was like, yay. No, working class, something like that probably. All right. Probably something about prohibition. Cheers. I mean, it's mainly lager in the UK as well. Okay. It's got a very funky taste. Like very, um, I don't know what it's made of, but it's like, let me. It hits my palate in a way that I don't mind. It's a Dutch beer, not a Mexican beer. They got sued. <laughs> I do like Brewdog. Brewdog is very good. Wait, what? I want to look up this Dutch beer argument. Um, this is weird. I don't know how to feel about this one. Tecate Dutch beer. What the fuck? I think this is a little bit better than... You know what's crazy? In my head, I'm like, the beers I liked are here onwards. Oh, oh my god. These are all the beers I did not like. These are all the beers I like. Um, wow, chat, you made it a tie. Oh, oh my god, sorry. Okay. Yeah, I know, we know Heineken is, is from the Netherlands. Oh, I think the lawsuit was a bit of cap. So what happened is during COVID, they, have to, they had to move production to Holland. Oh. But they moved it back oh. to Baja, California. Or I guess Mexico. So for a brief period, it was in Holland. I think it's here or here. I'm not too sure. I would I would be chill with it going flanking either side of Sapporo, but I I also feel fine about here here. I, I would say here okay. here here. Well then let's yeah. <laughs> Get me out of what here. What the fuck was that? Get me out of here, <laughs> man. Oh, it's like I'm losing it. It's like the ski trip all over again. He's about to lose. Move it to the right more because the left is actually chat still. Oh, really? Oh, okay. 
Well, we'll, we'll, we'll put more in there. All right, I'm willing to put it there. I'm willing to get it done. We've been very thorough. We're washing our glasses. Yeah, Mudan, you have, We're to drinking a, water. you have to use a tier list for this too, I think. Mm -hmm. Like a tier list would be like a better visualization in the bottom right corner. I can do it in post. We'll add it in post, Mudan. Fix it in post. Fix it in post. We'll fix it in post. Mudan, fix it in post. In post, can you actually fix the pimple I have on the right side of my face? <laughs> well, Thank that's you. modern technology. Can't keep up with that. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go for the next one. All right, do we it. are going to go do it. to... Miller Lite, I believe the third most popular beer in the States. I've had this before. This is one of the worst taste tasting things I've ever had. Really? I, I remember I did not like it. Miller Lite, so I actually love Miller High Life's. They call it the champagne of Why beer. Why is it all fucked up? How does that happen? Uh, it's just pretty common they when it's that the carbonated. the champagne of beer. That's, that's, the, that's the fancier version of Miller. This is okay. the, the everyday man version. Let's give it a shot. I'm just gonna grab it because it's awkwardly placed. There you go. Motherfucker, you're getting heavy on these. Well, you can just pour it down, down the sink. <laughs> Dude, it's so bad. It's so, it's so, please tell me it's, you, you agree. It's bad, right? I'm, I, like, I'm really trying to find words that I can use <laughs> it's to so bad. encapsulate what is happening with my senses, but I think I'm drunk. I And so I, I think I'm having a harder time differentiating beers. It's just beer to me. <laughs> Fucker. I think w what happens with a lot of these beers is that I feel like the carbonation is the main flavor, which is weird because carbonation shouldn't be the main flavor I'm getting because some of them have so little flavor that the fucking bubbles in my mouth give me more to work with than whatever the fuck they actually put in it. Um, do you want to do a little game? No. What? Okay, what's the game? Okay, tell Turn me. Turn around. I'm going to point to where it should be. Okay. Okay, what's the game? And then now you, you point to where it should be. This beer? Yeah. That, um, that way we don't bias each other. Um, here. I don't know what you said. Did you do the same? You did the wrong. No, it's wrong. Oh my god. I did right here. No! But that was close. Really? I, I, I'm down to go with your answer. I think that was fine. I think sure. the carbonation of Dos Equis still has rubbed me the wrong way. I, every time I, I keep forgetting about it and then I remember what it tastes like and I'm like, eh, it's kind of shit actually. Yeah, I, I, I feel fine about it though. I think it's bad though. It's pretty bad. Okay, cool. Easy. Um, three left. Three left. Let's get through it. Final three. Now. Now, that was so dramatic. That was like the most dramatic pause we've ever done. We're going with three heavy hitters. <laughs> heavy on my liver. The first one, I believe, is the most popular Mexican beer. Okay. Meant to be drank with a lime, although we're not doing that because we're treating all these beer beers equally. <laughs> yeah, we I have mean. Corona. Is this like faded, the colors? What's up with it? No. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, Corona, you normally always have out of a glass, right? Like you. I mean, that's like Corona, you're supposed to drink with a bottle and you're supposed to drink it with a lime. But we're not doing all that shit. Yeah. I think I've had it a few times and it's significantly worse um, in a can. But also, I think Corona's very meh. It does the job. It's just, it's just very passable. Now, fair warning to everybody watching. This is not Corona Light, I believe. It's Corona Extra, well, 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 which well, I think is slightly different. Is it really? It's like Budweiser to Bud Light. Why? Why? But they didn't have. Why can't they just make one? It, why it's confusing. This is ridiculous. Basically, this is like the Budweiser version of Corona, as opposed to the Bud Light version. Cheers. This looks different to Corona. Personally, I kind of fuck with Corona. I. I mean, I think it's the most. I, like if I go to a place and it's literally only lagers and they only have like this, I'm like, okay, sure. But it, it's much better in a bottle. You need a lime and it needs to be cold. Um, but as a can, it's probably around where Bud is for me. I mean. It, I, was gonna, I was gonna say, okay, ready? I'm on, on go point. Three, yeah. two, one, go. Oh, okay. Okay. Close I, 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 think, I think your choice might even be more respectable. You think so? Okay. I, I just think it's like, around that kind of inoffensive flavor profile. 
Isn't this sad that we're treating American beers in Heineken and Pacifico at the top? Hey, Wait. I, I claim North America, all of it, all right? As, That's fair. How, wow. So, you know. Wow, how very wide of you. I shout out. <laughs> <laughs> You can, I'm pretty sure that's how you're okay. in California, right? All right, buddy. You're in All California, right? right? Okay. Used that's to be formerly Mexico. It. Okay. Well, that's not how exactly I meant it. <laughs> All right. All right. Two beers left. This one's not really a beer, Connor, but we do have to try it because it is a staple of alcohol. <laughs> it's, so nasty. it's a legendary beer that's no. gone through many lawsuits. No. It's time to have a sip Let of I gotta show. I gotta show them this. This shit is disgusting. This, this is shit. four loco warheads. It's flavored after a popular American candy warheads, this which is, is just citric acid incarnate. Look at this shit. This this should not be legal. Thirteen point nine percent alcohol puts it at about three x over three x <laughs> most sour, of the years here. Sour cosmic punch. It used to have caffeine in it. I think a hundred to two hundred milligrams. Look it's like the, three Red Bulls worth. Fourteen percent. They got sued. <laughs> that's fucking, almost out of existence, so they had to stop. Wild. Fourteen so, percent. In the in the two thousands, this ran colleges. Bro, I just got a whiff when I opened it. Dude, what the fuck is that? That's, what the fuck is that? Why is it that color? So if you drank that, that'd be the equivalent of like, uh, like, a like, yeah, like, like a whole beer. Yeah, a whole beer. Yeah, a whole beer. Maybe two. I'm not gonna, I'm not drinking all of this chat. I just, I wanted to visually see, that's disgusting. That's actually concerning. I'm, I'm gonna take a tiny sip. Bro, what the fuck? The, the thing about these beers is they do a really good job. I like, can't. That's making 15. It, they make it like literally perfume and sugar to mask <laughs> all of the, the alcohol. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's so disgusting. That's like more. I know there's a chemical for sourness. Um, citric acid? It might just be pure citric acid, honestly. If you put enough acid in anything, I won't be able to tell there's any alcohol. Uh, I you, wonder, do they have an ingredients list? I guess beer doesn't no. have to have that. No, because it's probably cons you don't you do not want to see what it is. Maybe battery, it's part of your trademark. It's battery acid. It does taste a bit like battery it's acid. Like, it's so oh, it's so bad. It's so nasty. Where you want to put it? You know where I want to put it. Very bottom. It's 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 somehow worse than butt ice. I no actually. I honestly won't fuck with you. I think it's better than Mike's hard. I think it tastes better than this mic's art. You are fucking with me. You, you are kidding. No. In what Ooh. sense does it? It doesn't it's, taste it's better than the mic's so art. It's so sour. It's so sour. I can't believe you're trying the worst. I don't want to try the worst ones again. <laughs> they're so nasty. They're both, they're both somehow so disgusting. I'm going to put them like this. It's vile. It's so vile. Oh, I'm putting shit. up Russell Westbrook numbers right now. What do you mean? What? <laughs> I'm I, shooting I, I in don't, the garbage can. I don't get that reference. I don't That's watch right. basketball. A couple of Americans will get it. No Americans watching now. Shout out to my American gin desses. <laughs> so yeah, that's um, a zero. <laughs> that's disgusting. Yeah. But you know what? And in, in, in I am going to fight for Four loco right now. Every beer from, I would argue, here down mm -hmm. has a singular purpose yes to get you drunk in an inoffensive okay. way okay it does not expand you know what actually i would put that maybe up to here even yeah honestly maybe every beer here to be fair because of that if we're factoring in the percentage alcohol which is 3x almost all of these beers the flavor i would argue is not three times worse than mike's or bud ice this is not a great argument well, it is because I'm saying that you only have to drink one of these to do the effect of three of these. And if you were to task me with drinking three Mike's Hards or three Bud Ices versus one Four Loco, I'd be like, give me the Four Loco. I'll get it over with quicker. It's, it's crazy how that made no fucking sense. It's crazy. <laughs> what? No, I was cooking, Chad. I, Back I, me up. That made so much fucking sense. You know when I... When that was I, actually so fucking intelligent, bro. I was actually cooking like a, a, I'll, up a, I'll a eat, meal. I'll eat fried chicken. I'll eat burgers and stuff. And I won't bat an eye about what I'm putting in my body. You're drunk. But then I, I have one sip of that and I'm like, what are we doing as humans? Like, wh wh what are we You putting? become Shinji? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I actually become aware of the dog shit I'm putting in my body mm. half the time. This shit is, sh like, I, I genuinely think you would develop problems if you drank that often. That's fair. Um, I, I actually, all of these, to be honest, but I mean, that one more yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, if you drink Pacifico <laughs> often, you actually don't have a problem. <laughs> yeah, I think you're actually not problematic. You're actually based. It's kind of sick. All right. Last the, beer. The last beer. Now, why did we leave this one to last? Bud Light is the most popular American mm -hmm. beer, mm -hmm. and it is not close. Wait, really? It's not close. Wait, I thought this was the most popular. No, Budweiser is like maybe the the it's, so this is the original uh, formula mm. that made Anheuser Busch the parent company popular, yeah. but Bud Light is their is their fucking dream child. So. I don't know much about Bud Light. All I know is that Post Malone seemed to always be holding one. Yep. Um, which I was baffled by because surely he's rich and he could afford stuff that tasted good. Well, I think his whole entire brand is built around like being rich but still connected to him and oh, his yeah. youth. I'm so I'm so well connected. I, I I also drink Bud Light. Yeah, actually, like you're, you're memeing, but like, but I also don't even think it's an act. I think like he likes smoking cigarettes, drinking blood, Bud Light, and playing Apex Legends. <laughs> he does like Apex Legends. Bud Light makes you play Apex Legends, and that's probably the worst thing. Okay, Bud Light in 2020 accounted for 17.8% of total unit sales in the States and 10% of sales by volume. So it's literally 10% of all alcohol consumed in the States. The next was Corona Extra, which was 7%. The third wow. was actually Michelob Damn, Corona does that Ultra. Well. Huh. which was 5.5, then Coors, then Miller, then Budweiser, then Heineken, then Stella, which we don't have. Well, Stella's not, that's a French one. Uh, Stella? I, it was French, I think, right? Uh, Stella's French, am I correct? I, uh, I don't think it's French, but I don't know. I thought Stella was French. I don't know, Teebs. Teebs, I don't know. Maybe got bought Belgian? Oh shit, Belgian. Basically the French. No, it's not. Basically the no, French. No, it's not. Let's be real. They wish. They, pff. They come made on, waffles on. one time. They made. They <laughs> 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 All right. No, it's not. I, I do. I do. My favorite thing is to annoy Belgians and people from Luxembourg, because like, it's Fuck just. Them. I, they're rich. Their their GDP per capita is through the roof. You got bigger problems. Like how to how to how to spend all your money. All right, try. Give me your cup. Here's my cup. Yeah, I I had this problem too. Why you okay? You can you can stop. That's enough Bud Light. It's our last beer. This is so much foam. That's right. Let the foam head set, set level out. All right. Cheers. Oh yeah, I'm letting my foam oh, level out. Okay. All right, fine. Well, whose fault was that? It's the best thing about Bud Light. Actually, the foam doesn't ever leave. It's actually a thing that comes with the can. Chug off. <laughs> Why do you want to chug off? <laughs> I gotta ask, did you throw in the chugging versus the... Yeah, a little bit. It seemed like you, you I stalled, slowed down. You stalled uh, at one point. I, he was very fast. He was very fast, but I... I Connor's he, referencing my video where I went up against the best competitive eater in Japan. We did a drinking contest where he had two beers, I had one. I think I could have for sure beaten him with one v two, yeah. but he would have been like, it would have been like me win, he win. Yeah. But I think for like the purposes of the video. I mean, was, he was clearly better at chugging. Yeah. Like, there's no, yeah, no, no shot he was. If it was 1v1, he would have fucking gapped me. He just opened his throat. And I think it didn't even like swallow. I think it just goes, it walks Yeah, in. actually, right? It's kind of crazy. All right, ready? Sure, let's are, do it. Are these equivalent? Yeah. But, Seems I mean, about. But, oh, okay. Right. Oh, wait, you want to, wait, this is one mouth. This is like. Mm. Yeah, I'll be faster. Well, okay, sure. Up, down, up. How do, oh yeah, so what's the. Up, up yeah. down, up. And then how do we, is it when we touch the bottom that it counts? When it touches the ground again. They, they can't even see, so they'll, <laughs> okay, you gotta, you gotta make some room. Yeah, Put it up gotta, here. Okay, okay, fine. All right. Exactly, ready? All right. Are you, are you nervous? We're not even tasting it. Up, down, chug. Okay, okay, like that. I'm just practicing. So up, down, up. I was being polite with it, actually. I did finish quicker than you, though. <laughs> I just, I <laughs> That beer? <laughs> Can I taste it? I actually want to taste it. It's now. great. No, it's not. That's the perfect chugging beer. All right, let me try it. He's back. Hmm. I mean, it's 
Budweiser with a little better. Close your thing. eyes. Okay. I'm going to turn around. <laughs> that sounded like sap water. <laughs> What do you uh, think? Um, here. <laughs> what? Why? Where did you put it? Bro! Wow, it's actually kind of hot. Okay. What? I put it here. Really? I think it's better than, it tastes better than Corona. This one was bad. Uh, you're tearless, bro. Well, that's like, that's like seven, right? No, it's your tearless, man. We're moving it up. What do you mean? Stop laughing. Stop laughing. Put it to the right. Put it to the right. Put it to the oh, right. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry, sorry. Doesn't move it up. Ugh. Dude, honestly, not a bad take. That's where I'd put it. Yeah. But I would still say every beer from... I, I liked, I enjoyed these. I, I, I could drink these, and I wouldn't like to drink these. Okay, well, let's let's do this. We have our beer tier list here. This is the mm. worst beer. This is the best beer. Yeah. Now, let's do a little bit of a, of a helpful thing for you in post. S tier is from here to... Tell me, stop. Yeah, I'd say that. Here or here? Uh, is Modelo S tier? Have no, a sip. No, have a sip no. and try it. God, you just want me to drink more. Someone told me Four Loco isn't a beer. Really? I, I couldn't tell, actually. That's crazy. It's actually a beer. That's wild. Crafted, crafted by Anne Hathaway. No, beer. yeah, that's A. Okay. So this is S. So S is just these two. Mm -hmm. A goes from Modelo down to... Mm. <laughs> really? I think it, actually, no, here, yeah, here, yeah, here. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to include Tecate. Yeah, I think there's an A. Okay, so S. A. A. B is... B is from <sighs> Sapporo to down to Budweiser. Yeah. I would I would love to push Michelob up. You really want it in B? I... I, That's your nostalgia talking. You're right. I'll, I, I'm too biased. So then we have C tier from Michelob down to, I would assume here. You didn't really like Coors. I, dude, I, maybe I've been too nice because I think like this is where it began to go wrong. So like, you think C tier is exclusively Michelob Ultra? I would feel comfortable with that. Actually, maybe I'd put like C and then B. Uh-huh. Okay, so B. Uh-huh. C and okay. then we're getting into D range. Okay, okay. So let's 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 refocus. Yeah. Okay, let's re okay, let's refocus. Our C tier beers are Heineken and no, Pacifico. No, S, S tier. It's Excuse me. Our S tier beers. Tom. Are Heineken and Pacifico. They're the best okay. of American beers, and one of them's not from America, okay. and the other one's also not from America. And this one's also not from America. Nice. Our A tier beers are Modelo, Tecate, and PBR. Okay. Nice. Our B tiers yep, those are, the B are tiers. Sapporo, Bud Light, Corona Extra. True, true. Our C tiers are Mickey's, Budweiser's, Michelob mm. Ultras. Yeah, yeah. Our D tiers, I would argue, are these four. You think Bush Light can go in D? Yeah. Okay, okay. Dos Equis, Miller yeah. Light, Coors Light, Bush Light. Yeah. I agree. And then our F tiers would not drink, even if chugging, even if playing some drinking even games. Even if paid money. Mike's Hard, Bud Ice, and Four Loco. Two of which are yeah. seltzers, technically, but still shit. Chat saying Heineken and S. Well, I mean, Heineken in general is like an okay beer, but in comparison to American beers, it's, it's pretty high, I think. Yeah, at the end of the day, of the, these, these are not beers meant to no. please the palate. They're no. beers meant to be drank in large groups, large mm. volumes. <laughs> and so I think it's fine to have a Heineken up there. Uh, Heineken's awful. I think because most Americans don't like flavor, actually, in beer. I'm learning that, is that the most popular ones are the ones with the least flavor or any kind of like um, yeah. strong notes. Right. I'm it's an inoffensive notes. beer that we can chug, much like the inoffensive television that like, we like to consume. <laughs> You know? Yeah. That's 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 the American way, baby. The fact that Four Loco is allowed to exist in any state is beyond... I think Four Locos are Chad. Uh, Chad to who? If somebody maybe, maybe was, that like, woman if who somebody was, was like, British. yo, do you guys have Four Loco? It's all I drink. I'd be like, yo, you're a Chad. <laughs> <laughs> or you have something wrong with I'd you. I'd be like, are you okay? Do you need assistance? Yeah. And I respect that. I, I don't respect that. Well, we've done it, baby. That's it, chat. Well, hope you enjoyed Ooh. this uh, tier list arena. How long has it all been? How long have we been doing this? Uh, we've, we've been Hour 40? Hour 50. I think that's a pretty good amount of time. It wasn't going to be a long one today, chat, because mm. um, I got to go and catch my flight. So that's mainly all of it. They'll be like, do I smell beer on you? I'll be like, 
you smell a lot of beer. <laughs> Which one? Uh, <laughs> do you want the tier list? <laughs> <laughs> Full loco, actually. <laughs> uh, man, do you have Pacificos or Heineken's on this flight? <laughs> I'm gonna go in the lounge and I'm gonna be like, they'll be like, Are you, you drunk? Feel? How drunk do you feel right now? Not even remotely. Let's find out. What do you, how do you, do you have a breathalyzer? Yeah. Oh, this would be great, actually. This is fantastic. How much do you reckon my blood alcohol concentration is? I've never done a breathalyzer before in my life, by the way. He's gone, he's gone. I mean, you, can, you can still hear him. Ever in my life. I've never done one. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Um, yeah. We'll find out. I, I've never done a breathalyzer. Really? In my life. Well, time to start. So this is a first. Who do you think is going to blow higher? I think you. How does it, how does it work? I have no fucking clue, to be is honest. Is it just like, cause like body weight and height must be a factor? Maybe the, I don't know. No, oh. none of that. It just measures the amount of alcohol in your breath. Drink a lot of water right now for me. Okay. If there's alcohol in your breath, it will uh, be a little higher than it should be. I just brought some water. It's all right. Yeah, you're 26, so you should know how to drink it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't think drinking water will get rid of all the alcohol in my breath. But you I'm want some crisps? Try. That might help. Oh, you refer to them as crisps. That's so, so cute. What is this? Panera bread. Okay. You go first then. Okay. Chat, guess. Why do you have this? I did a drunk driving stream. Oh. <laughs> All right. What are you waiting for? It's the drunk crashers that are the problem. <laughs> 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 no, that's the Wisconsin model. <laughs> Oh, does it count down to his, oh, wait, his weight? Oh. Yeah. How, far, how hard do you blow on it? Oh. You Why just blow it? continuously until it says you're good. All right, 0 0.10. I have no idea what normal uh, blood alcohol things. All right. Whoa. 0 0.125. I am a little over the legal driving limit. What is the legal limit? 0 0.08. So I'm, I'm 1.5x. Wow. What's, um, what did you get to on your stream? 0.22. Oh, that, is that a lot? That's a lot, right? Yeah. It's like pretty drunk. Wow. I think you'll start like throwing up at like 0.3. Jesus, <laughs> you got pretty drunk then. One hour, you're under. Yeah, you will be under in an hour. All right, let's give it. Let's give it a shot. My first ever breathalyzer, and uh, hopefully my last as well. <laughs> That's They're kind of fun, to be honest. It seems fun. If you in, get to blow. in the right circumstance. Yeah. Well, in this circumstance, it seems fun. Certainly, there's people who've had bad experiences with them, but yeah. So how does it work? Like, because obviously, there's no way you could build up a tolerance, right? That's just your brain getting used to it. I, how does that all work? I have no idea. So I don't, I, mean, I don't know exactly how this works. I do know a lot of it's based off your breath. So like, even if you just, if you like brushed your teeth or did some mouthwash, like you'll have a blood alcohol oh. content in your breath, which is like a little cringe. Okay, so I got it says wait. Let me show you guys what actually, real quick. Just what is what we're working with here. This is wait and it's counting down. Very ominously actually. Wait, wait. All right, where's it at? Keep going, keep going, keep blowing. Keep it going. Keep it going, almost there. Wow! 0 0.054. That's low. I can drive. You can drive, <laughs> do you feel drunk at all? <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah, you could drive. <laughs> you could drive in, in fucking, oh no. well you can't drive in New Zealand. You can't drive in Japan, that's for sure. Does it show? Oh, it's off now. Rip. No, no, no. Damn. That's why you is my, why is yours double mine? I'm probably a lighter weight. Does that have anything to do with it? Does that surely not, right? Because it's just a you're intaking a chemical to oh, your blood. Uh, hello. Yeah. I'm not a fucking mathematician, but I, think I don't the know. Way I have no idea how alcohol works. gets processed is through your liver, and then a certain amount of the alcohol goes into like your bloodstream, 
and yeah. then that reflects back I, in your breath somehow. I think you were also taking bigger sips than me, I will admit. You were taking more sips and bigger sips. I might have drank a little more, but I think even if we drank the same amount. But like, if you, drank, if you drank the same amount <laughs> as like a like a, a 19 year old fucking college kid. Yeah, yeah. Who's never drank, they would process alcohol yeah. oh. less efficiently than you. <laughs> your body is probably built up a tolerance and, and does a good job processing it. I've just got more blood. Just more, more blood going around. You have more blood in your body. Just more blood, like twice the amount. <laughs> oh, chat was betting. <laughs> they, they were betting on what my blood alcohol content was going to be. This is fire. That's crazy that they were that close, though. The, they were pro that was a great line. Wow. All right, well, chat, I mean, that's basically it. We're done here for today. Uh, i got to go get ready to leave, go back to Japan. Uh, also get ready for the cyclothon, so... Uh, but it's been fun, and thank you for joining this short stream. Um, yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me as well. I appreciate it. Thank you for letting me do this again in your house. And I'll probably do it again. What are you... Okay, well, that's, that's that blood alcohol content, dude. Guys, work. if you don't know, you can click the subscribe button. Scroll down, there's a little checkbox. You can okay. click it, and it'll say subscribe free in purple. Yes. Now, normally, I wouldn't farm these for Connor, because I'd farm them for myself. <laughs> I used to be a 30K Andy back in the day. Never forget. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can no longer farm those. I love YouTube. Yeah, yeah. But I miss farming my prime subs. Okay, okay, okay. So do me a favor. Let me see that I still got that dog in me. Let me well, see how many primes I can farm right a, now. That's actually a decent I used to be able to farm like 50 with these shout outs. Really? No issue. <laughs> that's crazy. So if you got a primer, make me look cool for one time. Oh, shit. Just oh, drop it. That's a lot of primes. The thing what you don't know fuck? about prime subs too is they don't roll over. So it's like, if it is available right now and you wait a day, Damn. you have technically lost value on that. Dude, if you waited a month, hell? you would lose $5 of value. So you should use it on cooldown. Oh, look, That's so many. What give it a the fuck? I don't give a fuck if you use it on Connor. He's already rich. <laughs> you should just use it. And Thank if Connor you. happens to be the guy Thank you like, you, then use it on I Connor. It doesn't I appreciate matter. appreciate that. You oh should just use it on cooldown. That's a lot of problems. Because otherwise you're, you, you're losing the value of your, of your Amazon product. God damn. Thank you guys. I, that's very kind of you. Um, I'm glad to leave LA a winner. We still win. got it. We win. You still, that's a lot of, that's at least 50, I think. Still got it, baby. Jesus Christ. Well, thank you, Chad. I appreciate that so you much. You never do this? No, I never, I should do it more. I, I, I'm really bad. I used to I, do this every two hours on the dot. I was, is Iron Mouse online? Is Iron Mouse? Jeez. Oh, we got a 50 star? Thank you, Thirsty. What, a, a Thirsty Boy? Well, I'm no longer Thirsty, that's for sure. Oh my God. Thank you so much for the 50. I appreciate it. This guy's it. rage. Yeah, <laughs> but well, Appreciate all right. That. Mouse is online, so let's go and uh, let's raid Mouse, VTuber of the Year, guys. I don't know if you if you know that. Um, let's go and send you guys over there, VTuber. You guys got to spam VTuber of the Year when you get there, okay? Iron Mouse. All right. It's intended for mature audiences, chat. So <laughs> I'm a little more mature than this stream, probably. Breathalyzes alcohol. Yeah, right. <laughs> a little more mature. Yeah, we kept this shit PG. <laughs> we, we did. Thank you guys so much for joining. Are you talking about pedophiles again? <laughs> but, no, no, don't worry about that. You're talking about I was just talking about for Mike's, a while, no? Mike's hot lemonade. Mm. There are two beers that are. Why was lower. Mike so hard then? <laughs> <laughs> Why did he bring a six pack and condoms? I don't what's, get it. What's up with that? <laughs> Thank you guys so much. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure to subscribe to the Condo YouTube channel if you haven't already. It's free and helps support the channel. And we're live on Twitch at three to four times a week. Try to be. Uh, well, you know. He would say I'm not, but I try, I try. All right, chat, bye. I think I have to click it. Do I have to click it? How do I click it? How do I, I clicked it, I clicked it, I did it, I did it. Yes. End stream, hit the end stream now. End stream, I gotta press end stream.